Boobs. Okay, so <laughs> Stank, this is the cold open now. <laughs> Are you looking at me like this? Go, go. You're scary. Go. Okay. Like the bride of Chucky when you <laughs> smile like that. Thank you. It's the nicest thing anyone's told me this week. <sighs> Nick, I have two stories to tell you for today's cold oh, open. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. I felt like we had nothing to talk about. I got two old stories. I've started today with chaos energy. I and I got there. I took a little I took yeah. a will be nap. Took a will be nap, bounce back, energy stick. <laughs> yeah. I'm vibrating. Yeah, you're there. Yeah. I know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel your vibration. Most toy is on a max currently. <laughs> I can't see straight. <laughs> so on my way over here for lunch, I had two breakfast corn dogs. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> a breakfast corn dog is a sausage yep. on a stick with pancake encasing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I had two of those. I brought them in the car. The okay. plates in the car. I would argue that all corn dog, it's like, it's pancake adjacent. How is it? Does you're like eating the batter and you're like, wow, pan, does it taste different? It tastes like pancake and sausage. But like, I, I feel like, okay, I guess. Here's, that, here's that's guess that's what? Fair. Corn dog batter is uh -huh. made of cornbread, not pancake. Oh, it is cornbread. You're corn absolutely right. Dog. I also haven't had a corn dog in like four 15 years. It's corn, dog. I, it's actually mostly dog corn. <laughs> right? I told you to never call me corn. You fuck. I'm sorry. All right, we're but, digging up past drama. So I was eating uh, two breakfast corn dogs on my mm, drive just here. Tool, just tool, <laughs> not holding the wheel. Just, just skiing down the road, making eye contact with everybody you drive by. I was eating one at a time. It's important of the story. Okay. I get to like this woman and her dog are trying to cross the street, not in an intersection. I love, <laughs> I love the idea of looking into somebody's car and he's just facing a fucking dog. <laughs> will, will you let me finish? Sorry. So, it should be noted it's 5 p.m., by the way. Yeah, it's 6 p.m., actually. It's not an unreasonable hour. Um, but so For I, breakfast corn dogs, uh, it is. <laughs> yeah. So I stop. I slow down. I come to a stop to let her cross. She starts walking. She's doing, like, the head down bashful thing. Where As she, she should. Just does, like, <laughs> You're just revving your engine at her. <laughs> just does like a little head down, head nod. And then as she's about to pass my car, she looks up and she smiles. And just before I see her mouth start to say thank you. And as she looks at me, I'm taking out one corn dog stick and switching to the other dog. And just I put it in my mouth. A mag reload on <laughs> breakfast corn dogs. I do a quick tactical reload. And then and I've got both hands on the wheel and just dog in my mouth. And her smile disintegrates to one of disgust. Because <laughs> she just realized she narrowly escaped death. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like sitting at the wheel, and the second she looked at me like that, I was like, I should have killed you when I had the chance. <laughs> you bitch. So why did I you. dent these fucking windows? <laughs> yeah. So that's story one. That's great. That's how I showed up here. Story two uh, this girl, I won't say her name, mm -hmm. but she's just like, cosplay influence type deal mm -hmm. who I know through Daniel we've said maybe like two words to each other one of these type of deals yes big boobs okay. oh, oh 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 <laughs> what were you doing oh I was doing I was doing an under motion that's a boob what motion. is an under motion that's a, that's a butt motion all of it okay <laughs> all okay. of it gotcha anyway mm. I won't say the name now yeah. more than ever <laughs> <laughs> it was me yeah that's why I'm asking but um so uh she I guess posted a cover of a Hasbun Hotel song mm. and I was like paid no mind I was like oh cool whatever talented people being talented uh -huh. neat then a day goes by and she posted a story like screenshotting all of the like hate she was getting like from people just being like go back to stripping like how imagine being an only models of like person only thinking models? your talent yeah I'm nice. an idiot. imagine being <clears throat> an only fans model and thinking you're talented nice that's why i got tripped up on that sentence because <clears throat> i was like only models and then i was like wait I, I was gonna use the word model somewhere else <clears throat> why is this not working anymore yeah. but so post all that and i was like the fuck is going on what is all this hate and so i went and it like infuriated me because I was, the it, hate infuriated the me hate. or like and, oh i thought you were gonna be like i and then i immediately understood the comments yeah, was like, <laughs> it was really bad no. no i was just so like 
mad at like just so like one of the comments was from this guy named Isaac and he goes Dox him. put his last name I'm out there. I'm doxing him. I tried. Okay. But so I go uh or he goes how do you go from posting bikini pics on OnlyFans to thinking you can become a voice actress slash singer? That's like Lil John claiming he's a professional rapper just because he says what okay. And First I, off, Lil John's a producer. Hey, second <laughs> off, he raps on a lot of his songs. What a weird like if you that'd be like, I don't know. I would be like, that'd be like LeBron James thinking he's an astronaut because he went to a NASA headquarters one time. <laughs> like, why would you Yeah, why Lil would you choose an actual he rapper? Is, he is a rapper. Yeah. But so I saw comments like that and I was like, just so annoyed at people like someone's just trying to do a different hobby, <clears throat> have fun, and they're like, fucking go back to tits, broad. Yeah. And so, so I look into his page. <laughs> I just said, just, just go back to, go back to nipples, you whore. <laughs> He's just like, what? Go back to boobville, skank. <laughs> He's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> but so, so I like click on his page and it's private, mm-hmm. but the bio says fishing, hunting, honey. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, what is this guy, a grizzly bear? <laughs> And so I'm like somebody I mean he did just wake up from hibernation he's a little true. grumpy true exactly so I go imagine being a guy whose bio is hunting fishing honey and thinking you can judge people relax Winnie the Pooh just because <laughs> other people have actual personalities and interests doesn't mean you have to get insecure and I like put my phone down yeah and I'm like Got him. Another another roundup on the internet. I listen. I I, I love the Winnie the Pooh joke. You like, should have worked in. Just because other people are able to wear pants doesn't mean you have to get upset about not owning any. I would have well, gotten. So, I would have gotten a pants dig in there somewhere. Well, so that's a good call. Yeah. I like doubling down on the Winnie the Pooh thing. You have to. I put my phone down. Do some of this. Mm-hmm. I tell Sarah about it. I'm like. I just made the world a little less sexist she was, today. Yeah, and she was like, God damn it, I knew I chose you for the right reason. <laughs> exactly. Like two hours go by, mm-hmm. he replies. All he says is, honey is my dog. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I would just be like, stupid name. <laughs> stupid name. <laughs> Fucking buffoonabus motto over here. Yeah. It was like, I got to triple down on this Winnie the Pooh bit. So I go, dude, if you love honey so much, just own up to it. You're not impressing anybody by lying yeah. with a bunch of emojis. And I go, it's so sad that all you do all day is criticize other people who are more talented than you while guzzling down jar after <laughs> jar of bee juice. Go just, cry to Piglet if you're so insane. Nice, nice. You got the second Winnie the Pooh joke. Let's go. <laughs> So I didn't win that. No, no, we didn't. I'm on your. Listen, I'm in your corner. All right. You've had a you've had a good couple of weeks on TikTok. Mm-hmm. You also, I I listen. I champion for you. You didn't even repost it. You know. Oh, we, this we, is the. We yeah, won't talk about on. this, but you no, know. Go on. But like you know, Danny got a, Danny getting yelled at. Uh, mm-hmm. Danny's has been hotel uh, reaction, or I guess it's hell of a boss now. Reaction is doing really well on short form and long form, and it was like, oh. Oh, Danny, he's doing hella boss. And now he's getting a gajillion followers a day. And so he's like massively growing. But with growth always comes the worst. Just <laughs> yeah. the worst. Because like when when people find you, the bad people find yeah. you. And That's so Danny, the Spider-Man quote. With great growth comes um, the worst. Well, comes just fucking <laughs> the dregs. Yeah. The dead internet. And so Danny was just yippity yippity yapping his way through a reaction to hella boss. And listen, I'm going to come out and say it. It was a lot of pauses. It was. That's it, the content. Daddy, it was a lot of pauses. That's the content. Daddy was. I listen. Even I was like, all right. I was like, even, but listen, I picked up my sword because everybody was like, all right, King of Yapperville here, fluent in Japanese, and I was like, if you guys don't want reactions, don't watch his content. But I was watching it. I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, cool. Oh, we're doing, we're doing Daddy again. It was again and again and again. I was like, fuck yeah, Danny, because he was like, I get in the same shit. I get in heat. Because yeah. everyone's like, oh, Nick's intros are too long. Oh, Nick's yapping. I'm like, I'm building a story. You have no creative integrity. Yeah. But I do be yapping. You I do, do but yapping. I do I do objectively be yapping. I just love, like, you are right. That video, it has like 6 million views. And it has. Oh, on TikTok. On TikTok. Oh, my God. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd still be here. Yeah. <laughs> <Imagine>. <laughs> I was wondering why you pulled in like a 300 foot limousine today. <laughs> 
<laughs> just still waiting for that thing to come around the corner. <laughs> yeah, just hand him like a wad of thousand dollar bills yeah. that only exist in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like stay here, jives all day. Yeah. I'll Uber home. <laughs> <laughs> the limo's actually the back of the limo's actually back in the house. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, that video has like some of the highest frequency of like Japanese oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, accusations. Absolutely. So thank you for that. Thank that's you for what I'm coming for. for my aid. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm here for. So we're at Talkers Anonymous, two lovers <laughs> turned podcasters. I name, my name is Nick, also known as NC Hammer, also known as the Weeb Commander, and I'm joined by the person everybody yelled at me to kiss when I defended him, yeah. Daniel Mata. Hello. That's me. Hello. Thank you for having me every week. Every week. 61 <laughs> weeks and counting. Yeah. Yes, that's it, right. It's been you, so great to be a guest on here yeah. for over a year. Listen, you're co-host sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I would say, you know, there's days where you come in with co-host energy, and then yeah. there's days where you come in with guest energy. There's days where I come in with guest energy. But Today, not, we're both hosting. But, but not when I have an energy stick before. <laughs> yeah, For those God. of you who don't know what an energy stick is, colloquially in my house, um, I have liquid IV sticks that have caffeine in them. And, like, I don't drink coffee because the voices get loud. But for some reason, energy stick go crazy. So I've been I've been a big energy stick energy today yeah. because I was EP. I, I was, I was terrified of you getting into like a loop, being like, I'm on big energy stick, energy stick, energy, energy stick, stick, energy stick, stick. energy. <laughs> and if I told you guys about energy sticks, yeah. So uh, let's That's talk about this the week. Ad. Surprisingly, a good amount to talk about, even though I thought we had none to talk about. Because yeah, you panicked today. <laughs> I panicked real hard. I was like, steak, we need games. We're making another tier list. Let's get controversial. Yeah. Um, but, I'll get controversial today well we, we do have to talk about the controversy coming our way in the form of not colossal con comic palooza mm -hmm. because we decided what our panels are going to be and we should probably inform the masses who mm -hmm. will probably make up the majority of the people sitting in said panels what those panels are going to be so actually before we get into what we're going to talk about today which is uh we both watched windbreaker yes uh we both watched invincible yes uh you watched how much about all of it all of it? All of it. At the park. Yeah, that's the fuck. Not at the park, but okay. I watched like the second half. You were of like, the park. I've been crushing. You were like, yeah. I'm at the park. I'm crushing episodes right yeah. now. I went to Erewhon and just blasted through Bochi the Rock. I love that for you. Yeah. Nice. Way to blend in with Erewhon. And then um, that's actually, that's actually it. And the oh, Has Been Hotel. Hotel. We're also going to rank, we're going to do a tier list of the Has Been Hotel songs. Yeah. We're going to go through them chronologically and like finally, once and for all, see if our music tastes actually align. Yeah. So we do actually have a good amount to talk about. But first, Danny yelled at me because we got an email from a guy who runs Comic Palooza and he was like, we need your panels. And it was like two days and I was panicking because I was like, I actually have no ideas ever. Panicking quietly, apparently. Yeah, I have no ideas ever. Didn't text anybody. <laughs> uh, but eventually, Nick, uh, Nick gets into levels of mania sometimes where he's like, you know what? My life is together and I'm going to make it happen right now. And so we decided... And by we, I mean me and the voices inside of my head yeah. to make all of the panels right then and there. So I, I emailed the guy who runs Comic Palooza and I was like, all right, our panels are going to be one, the live podcast, because me and Nate need to do three pod. We need to do three panels together. Yeah. So I'm like, one's going to be the live podcast where we hang out. We do this. We record together. It's going to be great. And then the second one. Nick just came up with all it's on gonna his own. It's going to be trivia night. Uh, it's going to be game night with Otaku's Anonymous. So basically, like it, what we're planning on is doing like either Otaku's Anonymous like trivia or anime trivia or like a blend of both. And then like whoever wins the trivia comes up on like stage. And we have two teams of five versus five. They then do a draft, and then the winning like draft we're going to do like crowd reaction. Like, does this side win? Does this side win? Whatever side wins. Those five people get a present, and then me and Dan are going to hang out and, like, probably do something like we defend our worst takes against you. So it's like you come up and it's like, hey, here's a take from Otaku's Anonymous you don't like, and then me and Dan are going to defend it. And then we're probably going to do another one, like, um, guess that host by their terrible anime take. Yeah. Something, something self-derogatory. We want people to come in and chop us down at the ankles. And then our third panel actually isn't even a panel anymore. Yeah, it's YouTube 101, It's right? YouTube 101. Yeah, where we're, it's a panel, but it's us and two other panelists. Yeah. Whose names I don't know. I don't. I've, I've never were, heard of them. They were like, uh, one of them was from Ryan's Toys. It was yeah, a voice it's like actor. a Roblox kind of deal. No, no, it was like a role. It was like Ryan, yeah. Ryan's Toys. Isn't he that kid who like started like unboxing toys at like three years old? He was like a grown man. No, no, no but panel. he's a voice oh, yeah. actor yeah, from yeah, Ryan. I don't you. know. What? It's something pa panda. Something, something panda. like that. Yeah. What's important is he has what? 3,000 YouTube subscribers? No, he has like a million, over a million. No. The I, other guy. Oh. Has like eight thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, "This is it, YouTube, the the stalwarts of YouTube." And it's me and Danny up there being like, "I don't know how I did it. I just <laughs> I just talk into a mic, and sometimes people like it." So that's our third panel. So we're gonna be doing like a big rundown on like 
how to succeed in YouTube. I'm also gonna be doing an individual panel from that. But Danny wasn't very happy with me because Danny was like, you should have run these past me. And I was like, I thought you would like the games, dad. Oh. And he put me directly in my place. It was kind of hot, actually. I got, first off, I did not yell. Hmm. But second, he I just, raised his voice. I just got an Over email. Text. I just got an email from in a Nick. Group chat. I just got an email like an, a reply all email to the comic palooza guy where Nick is like, hi, whatever your name is, here's what our panels are. Absolutely. And I was like, oh, uh-huh. are these our panels? Absolutely. I was waiting to scroll down, see my panels, we blah, blah, Danny's panels. Were these. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing Avatar yeah. <laughs> and he's doing a reaction. <laughs> right. and, and then he's doing uh, how to become a small film. I could have chosen your panels is for you. Is this the voice you send the email on? Like, and then Otaku's Anonymous then will do. The, yeah, I just smack <laughs> as hard as I can. I have a really big keyboard. It's full. It's it's full bomb strikes. Yeah, a full hand yeah. fits one key. It's just ka That's why I have so a, much desk. ka <laughs> yeah. <N. Yeah. laughs> uh, You are out of water already, which is very impressive. I yeah. knew you were going to need a bigger thing. It's your thing. one little glass. Yeah, I know. Was, yeah. I just knew you were going to need a bigger thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so those are going to be our panels. Uh, so if you guys want to come see us at uh, Comic Palooza down in Houston from May 24th to the 26th, that's what we're going to be. That's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be highly collaborative. We're going to be hanging out. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a couple of panels for me and Danny are yapping, but but there's got to be a big game night where like we're all just like hanging out doing trivia. You guys yell at us. We yell at you. It's probably going to be a fist fight at the end and it'll be fun for everybody. Danny will finally be able to test how, you know, worthwhile he is in combat. Very. It'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can finally do your, your hip I was, shake. I was waiting for that. I'm excited to see what a live Otaku's Anonymous thing is like because mm. you've never done a panel. Nope. And that's why like you're a, very nervous. The, I've done like the four person, yeah. like we all like interview a voice actor type yeah, thing, yeah. but I've never done like a. Well, that's why I like uh, uh, how, how you say uh, came for your throat uh-huh. um, because. Do you know nothing, you fool. You're, well, yeah. you're so panicked and you're so mm-hmm. like, all right, it'll be this and this. And I was like. Nick, we'll, we'll, we'll just what do Otaku's they, Anonymous. They fucking hate us, Danny. If, Have the, you thought about if they hate us? <laughs> the best learning experience I got from me doing... By the way, they do hate us. Yeah, I know. These are all hate views. I know. Um, the best learning experience I got from doing my panels was if you just go out and do your content, but make it a little interactive, it's like such a blast. Yeah. And so if we just go out and do Otaku's Anonymous... But that's what the live podcast is. But we could do it. It's only like 45 minutes long. Yeah. And Otaku's Anonymous is two hours. Yeah. yeah. So hour, we could have done 20 to, Well, it'll be a part. We'll be like, we'll film like a little thing before we leave. And we're like, no, let's cut to the live broadcast. Then we're going to record that. It's going to be a whole thing. It's going to be a great time. Okay. I have a I have a skit idea. And this is only, this is only stank. This is only for our YouTube members and Patreon nice. people. Cut this entire part out. Um, I also have like stand-up material <laughs> prepared. Do you actually? Oh, yeah. You got to go... <sighs> If you go in with like a cold, op- like a, a tight five opening, mm. it sets the whole rest of the day. I just, I don't, I don't know what's it do. It's better at, ha, it's better at, uh, long hair. What are we, Hashirama? I didn't say you have to do crowd work. <laughs> I, I, like, <laughs> what are we, Hashirama? Hey, get out of here, fuck face. <laughs> Someone get him out of here. <laughs> I'm not fucking, get him out. I think he has a gun. <laughs> If you did that, that'd be really good. They'd like that. I love. I'm not. Like, listen, I never. I like. I, trust me. If I ever die, it's not because I killed myself. I love my life. I the bit of just being like, just doing a joke and it like not landing and then just blowing my fucking brains out. Oh, it'd be so good, dude. I. Oh. Also, stank. This can be for everyone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Once the once the skit idea was gone, we're good. But uh, I this is kind of a tangent. But when I saw um, live stand up comedy and the guy drilled into me for looking gay, yeah, um, I realized a pet peeve I have with stand up comics uh-huh. is baking in the phrase. I felt you guys pull back a little. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like if there's like a, Ooh, didn't like that one. Well, yeah. That, that's fine. If it's like genuine, like I've seen like comics, like do a joke and the audience goes from laughing to like, Oh, and then it's like, Oh, what? Like, yeah. that's good. I saw these stand up comics. There's like eight of them in the first four. No one was laughing. Yeah. It was very not good. It's awful. It was tough. It was intense. Oh. I've bombed before and it is oh, it's tough. not I fun. I bet. It, yeah. I definitely like, I respect it. I respect anyone willing to do stand up comedy. Yeah. It's like one of the scariest things ever. Oh, it's awful. Um, 
And, but the first four people, something I did not respect was all four of them had a moment where after like minutes of not laughing, they do another joke. And then they're like, now I felt you guys pull back a little on that one. And it's just like, we've, we've been pulled back. (laughs) I am fully fucking puckered right now. I haven't been pushed in. Please. I'm waiting for somebody to make me laugh. Earn your controversial moment. Listen, you don't know how hard stand-up comedy is until you try it. What should we talk about first? Oh, anime? Yeah, anime wise. Okay. Should we talk about Bochi? Nothing. Should um, we talk about Invincible? Should we talk about Windbreakers? Let's talk about Windbreakers. Yeah. It's because quick. you came in and I I put it out there. Like I, I made an entire video being like, here's what kind like what's coming in spring 2024. And I was like, out of all of the anime coming out in spring 2024, I believe that Windbreaker has the highest margin of possible success. Um, I'm like, Windbreaker could fucking blow up. Like, it could be a massive thing. Because one, there's a huge hole in the anime community that was left the size of Tokyo Revengers. Like, after so- like season one of Tokyo Revengers happened, everybody was like, oh, this is awesome. And it was the yeah. biggest thing. It was everywhere in Japan. It was fucking huge. I'd never seen an anime blow up that quickly, yeah. especially when it wasn't that good. Tokyo Revengers, like, everyone's like, oh, it got bad. It never did. Yeah. It just never was that great. But, like, it was, like, the size of Demon Slayer for, like, a year, and everybody loved it. And then, you know, it goes to Hulu and everyone's like oh, i don't love it anymore it's gone nobody finishes it there's a christmas mark mikey kills people it's weird this has all of the things that tokyo avengers doesn't have <laughs> it has a rip or tokyo avengers has a ripping soundtrack admittedly the oh they have like all these like there's like, like these swelling moments where like like it's like deep voiced men like uh-huh. singing it's great but like this has a ripping OP, oh. ripping J Rock <laughs> yeah. OP. So good. The animation style is fucking great. It's very cool. It's sick. It's, uh, it's typical. I like the main character's look. Hakura. He's got a good character Sakura, design. Hakura. Yeah, Sakura Hakura. Sakura Hakura is in all Scooby time. Dooby. That is in all time anime. Literally, like we wrote him. Yeah. We're like, oh, his name's Sakura. What's his last name? Fuck it. Look at that. Hakura? You're like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a winner. Give yourself a race. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'm already, I'm already, the check's yeah. already filled out. Yeah. So, like, the animation style is really good. The, it's just like, there's this thing. When we were talking about this while we were watching it, there's this thing in anime where it's like, everybody picked, it's the same thing with Ichigo. Yeah. And, like, Ichigo's like, everybody called me strawberry because I had orange hair. And maybe this happens in Japan because, yeah. like, Japan is, like, very, They're very racially, uniform. Well, yeah, it's racially homogenous. Like, everybody, like, most people are Japanese. Yeah. And so, like, if you don't have black hair, maybe you do get picked on. Yeah. But, like, everyone's like, oh, Ichigo, the 6'5", 15 year old. Everyone's like, well, it's like putting people in ambulances. They're like, ha ha, redhead. And I was yeah. like, yeah. I wouldn't do that. I would I'd protect yourself. But he's got like the Sakura Hakura. He's got like a split white black like hair. And he's got like yeah. a, like he's got heterochromia. So it's like one of his eyes is like yellow and the other is like blue. He's it, objectively, he looks fucking sick. Yeah, he looks, he looks like cool an, as hell. Looks like an anime MC. And yeah. he's like, everybody, everybody <laughs> doubts. Like everybody, like if I try to do a good deed, everybody's yeah. like, oh, not this kid. And yeah. I was like, I don't think I've ever saw somebody who was like, oh no hetero Crimea, like <laughs> my pockets protect I them i know it's like he objectively looks dope mm-hmm. and he'll like yeah he'll like help someone across the street and they'll be like what are you trying to rob me freak yeah and it's like relax like they're acting like he's naruto yeah and the thing that works about naruto is that like one he's got a demon inside him but the kids don't know that the kids at know. the time do kids they know. oh yeah Donzo leaks it to the entire leaf so the leaf can unify in their hatred of one thing that is Naruto. That seems like a, some retcon shit. Uh, it's in a light novel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, all right. So fuck that. So fuck that. You, you're you telling me when he was writing episode one or chapter one Everybody of knows. Naruto. Everybody knows. I don't know. Every, even the children know. No, their parents tell them. All right. Well, everyone they, knows the, he's a freak. There's, little, there's an entire thing where like the like, kids go to hang out with them and they're like, all right, chill out. That's expensive. It's not that expensive. But like people are like, oh, don't go hang out with him. That's the demon. Box. Right, right. Well, so that that's the thing is it's like he, they are treating this kid as if he's Naruto. Yeah. But like Naruto has an actual for real demon inside of him. Yeah. Naruto's personality sucks. Yep. <laughs> He's insufferable, Full insufferable to be around. Yeah. This kid is just like a hot My Chemical Romance looking just dude. Just an e-boy. Yeah. Just a straight up Gerard Way who can punch. And at the same time, it's like everyone's like, dye your hair black, yeah. idiot. It's an option. <laughs> let's, yeah, uh, let's, like, let's keep our let's keep our options open here, yeah, right? Well, well, it's like he's like everyone thinks I'm a monster. Okay, diet. Yeah. Like you know, give it a year. Maybe you're like 
oh, it sucks I had to change, but life's a lot better now. You see, I think Mitsuri in Demon Slayer does a much better job of it because like there's the there's the social connotation that like she wants to get married yeah. and the reason no one's married, which is also objectively silly because everyone's like, ew, pink and green, which like, I looks yeah. like my girlfriend has had pink hair and it was my favorite hair color she ever had. So I was like, but like she dyes her hair pink, she stops eating and those kinds of things like fit in with society. And I'm like, and then like her entire character arc is like breaking out of that and like joining the Hashira in order to find somebody stronger than her. Yeah. She's like, oh, the only people that'll ever find a stronger than me is Hashira. So yeah. she's like trying to find a strong man there. I understand that arc more, but at the same time, it's still just like a, everyone's like yucky, not black. And you're like, no. Your hair color can be whatever, but then again, neither of us, like, it's such a common trope in anime. It's yeah. It's got to be. It's probably a It's got to be a thing in Japan, I guess. But even on top of that, right? Like, that's not my big beef with episode one of Windbreaker. Yeah. It's so, I can't, so I came into your house today and I was like, yo, Windbreaker sucks. I got like eight minutes into it and yep. I was bored as hell and cringing the whole time. Everyone loves it. Like, if you look in the Crunchyroll reviews, everybody's like hyped on it. It's fucking good. I think it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. The show? <laughs> because it's like, it's not like the dumbest thing, but it's like so silly to me. If you like my hero, Naruto, Dragon Ball, all of these shonen anime mm. have characters whose personality is like, I'm going to be the best fighter. Mm. I want to get to the top of fighting. But in all those worlds, it's like a superhero world. Dragon Ball's literally all about fighting. Yes. Um, like, they, they have a fight-based economy, yes, pretty much. Yes, they fully do. Um, Naruto is a ninja world, where, like... He it, wants to become Hokage. He wants to be leader. Yeah, yeah, like, and so... But there are characters... Like, Rock Lee's shtick is essentially he wants to be the best fighter. He wants to be... You know, he wants to be as strong as everybody else yeah. through his own hard work. Well, yeah. exactly. Like, so there are people who are like, my motivation is fighting. Yeah. And that makes sense in these contexts where it's like superhero shit going on mm. someone who's just in our normal ass regular ass world I mean, I being fully like saw sakura hakura jump 15 feet in the air and kick a man in the face yeah and one of the delinquents bounced a man off a concrete <laughs> wall so like it is adjacent to superhero shit it's just like so silly to me to see this kid like walk into a cafe and he's like I'm going to the shittiest school in town because yeah. that's where the good fights are. Well, because are. everybody, they, the people already look at him as the lowest of the low. Yeah. So he wants to go to a school where everybody's looked at as the lowest of the low and rise above them. He's already so he, he's silly. already cast out of society. Yeah. So he's going to a place that he believes is also where castoffs collect. It's just too like it's angsty. It's, it's a delinquent anime, Daniel. It feels like an anime written by someone who has only heard of anime before. Like, I, that is something I'd expect a 15-year-old who, like, had just heard about what anime is to write if you asked them to write an anime. Damn, so far off on this, because yeah. that first episode fucked. It's just so it silly. fucked, Danny. The, the idea that he's, like, one, a, a teenager choosing his own school is ridiculous because he's a delinquent Daniel and they're going to send him to the delinquent school. It's a common trope. It's like such fan fiction. It happened in Tokyo Revengers. Yeah. There's delinquent schools in Japan. What so like, is what, that? It's like, it's like if you get thrown out of like good school, you go to like delinquency school and that's like, it's like uh like the behavioral correction uh. Academy kind of thing. And it's like adjacent to a military Academy. And if you don't make it through there, you have to go to a military Academy. Basically there's like level, there's like seven levels of hell. Oh. And it's like if like the private schools are at the top, and then it's like public school, then it's like correctional facilities, and then it's like military school. Right. So if you keep fucking up, you go down the rungs because Japan wants to like beat all the yeah. like all the all rebellion the out down, of you. Yeah. yeah. And so like you just keep going down. And so there's delinquency schools, and that's where the delinquency like like trope and like entire section of anime and manga came from. Interesting. So good. I don't know anything about that dumb shit. It, the choreography in the battles was sick. You objectively, you're like, oh, I stopped watching this show right before this fight kicked in. And I could tell, I could tell because you were like, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to watch Windbreaker today. And you're like, Windbreaker blows. Yeah. Zing. Because wind, you get it? Yeah, big uh, zing energy. Big zing energy. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to let Danny sway my good time. Danny gets here at, on time. You said five. You were here at five. Yeah, exactly. I was five. not. I was like, I was fully like, oh, I have like an hour. Yeah. I was, I was like, I have all the time in the world. I almost was like, can we do it at six? And then yeah. I was like, oh, he'll be here at six anyways. You're right. here at five. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I was like, all right, we're gonna watch it together. And you're like, okay, I only watched the first eight minutes. I was like, how does it blow if you only watch the first eight minutes, Danny? And then you missed like a three and a half minute, like incredibly choreographed fist fight. Yeah, the fight was good. It was good. It's a good fight. It was good. It's just so melodramatic. The main kid has like no reason to actually be as angsty as he of is. Of course he doesn't, Daniel. <laughs> None of them do. Naruto does. Asta is born into a world with no magic. But Asta has a great attitude. Yeah. That's what makes Asta so awesome. Sakura, he's getting there. Because he, he was like, oh, he's like, oh, why am I protecting this woman? He's been cast out by society, objectively, not for a great reason. But it's also <laughs> probably just because it's for a reason we don't understand. Yeah. Fucking let's, let's I, go die I our hate hair and things be, I don't understand. Listen, that's the American way. As, well, fair. And yeah. we can change it with a little bit of freedom. Sprinkle. Oh, sprinkle of freedom. But anyways, like I. <laughs> you want to somebody, invade? Is as somebody saying? who's been to Japan and uh. as somebody who is a non-traditional looking person, especially in Japan, I've, I've gotten glances, you know? Yeah. So I can understand like how like if you stuck out in Japan, like the bent nail gets hammered. Yeah. So I could see maybe. Do you hate too much? You're you, gonna. You need to. You need you're to walk gonna in. Hate me this episode. You need Spoiler. to walk in. Walk the fuck in because this what season. This, this season is literally all just second seasons to anime. You don't watch. You <laughs> walk in. It is. It is. It's Konosuba, which okay. you haven't seen. I don't it's know what that Sly is. Slime Isekai, which yeah. you haven't seen. It's. I mean, MHA and Demon Slayer don't come out for a month. I'm walking in. They don't come in until the MHA and Demon Slayer don't come out until mid May. Doesn't uh. My hero number eight come Kevin, out in mid eight and mid mid May. Hold on, what We're are both you talking? What's a stroke. number eight? We're both having a stroke. Okay, Kaiju number eight. Kaiju number eight joke. comes out on the thirteenth of April. So okay, that's, there's that. Yeah, I'm excited about that. There I'm we go. I'm incredibly excited about that. But if we if we do two things, yeah, you can hate watch and Listen, go go hate lose watch a Windbreaker, But there's people out there that want to hear us talk about it, and I'm enjoying it. I guarantee. You want to make a bet? What? I guarantee we're going to stop talking about Windbreaker like we did with, in like, like four we, weeks. Like we did with Metallic Rouge. Like 100%. Well, we left. Like we did with Metallic we Rouge. Like we did with the Shangri-La Frontier. Yeah. Like it's going to be one of those. No one's going to give a shit. Yeah, but Danny, we have to we have to let that run its natural course. That's just my prediction. We have to let it run its natural course we, until, until we, because here's the thing, Danny. We're like presidential elects for the anime community. When we get disinterested in something, the majority of the anime fandom is also disinterested in it. Don't watch Windbreaker. Watch is Windbreaker. It's my platform. It's, it's objectively good. It's uh, objectively good. It's not. It's good. Mm. It's good. It's okay. Okay. All right. Then why am I going to be upset with you? This, watch Windbreaker. With the OP, if only for anything, the OP goes fucking hard. That is and good. I think, um, who's animating it? Oh, Cloverworks. Cloverworks right? is animating it, who does like Spy Family. And Bochi the Rock. And Bochi the Rock. And I think for Windbreaker, they're actually, I think they did 2D. I think they did 3D generation and then drew over it. Because it's like there's times where the movement is almost too fluid and too precise to be hand drawn. I don't and, know. And like it, to me, it looks like Cloverworks is trying a new blend because it doesn't look 3D animated at all. But like it is, the movement is incredibly fluid. I love how they draw the faces. I know there's something about the way Cloverworks draws. I know I, you're really like, hyped on. Some that. people love Mappa. I love the way Cloverworks draws. Like I love, I love how Bochi looks. I love how like Spy Family looks. I love everything that Cloverworks does. They're also doing two anime this season. Is are you sure Spy is Cloverworks? I thought that was a a one or no 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 no. Cloverworks does. I could be wrong. Cloverworks anime, they do. Yeah, they do do Spy Family and Wonder Egg Priority. Yeah, they bang. I know they crush. They also did um Promise Neverland and uh Re Zero, not Re Zero. Um, what's the one with two zero zero two? They did Fate Grand Order. Yes, they did do uh what is it Babylonia, Darling in the Franks, and Fairy Tale. They did. Fate Grand Order. Was it Babylonia? Uh, yeah. Oh, Fate Grand Order. Zetai Maju sets it. Oh, yes. This is, yeah. Babylonia, what which is, is very good. What does Darling in the Franks look sick? You've never seen Darling in the Franks? No. <gasps> it's fun. You would hate it. <laughs> you you said that to me last week. You said that to me last week. Everybody said that's a crazy insult. Everyone was like, that's such an insult. I like one don't was remember such, saying it. was it. such an offhanded thing. And I'm so used to you saying that kind of thing to me. I didn't even register. I it, It's two statements. One, it's fun. Two, two you'd hate you'd it. Hate it. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you'd hate it because it's fun. Darling in the Franks is. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. You'd hate it. Needs to be on a shirt. I, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. It's fun, comma. You'd hate it. Um, Should be absolutely on a shirt. You're absolutely right. It's very good. Yeah. It's a mech anime. It looks sick. It's like, From if you ever picture. seen, I'd say, so, Zero Two, 
I have a I have a statue of her somewhere actually. Wow. Uh, Zero two is top three pink haired girl in anime. Top, wow. top maybe top two. Wow. Top two pink haired like paired her. Yeah. Who are your top five pink haired girl in anime? <sighs> maybe not five. Maybe three. That's a good question. Um. So you know Gasai. Who? I have her right here. She's from Future Diaries. Okay. Uh, you know Gasai. Uh, zero two. Got to put Sakura on the list. Wow. She. Oh, what? Wow. She's got to make that list. No one likes Sakura. What do you mean? I love Sakura. I'm a huge Sakura fan. Wow. I would actually get a Sakura tattoo. I don't know where I would put her, but I would get a Sakura tattoo. It should tattoo. be her cutting the hair off, right? <sighs> no, probably be, it'd be her with like her, um, hun- you have seen this. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, her, yeah. Diamond. Strength of 100 seal. Bochi. Let's go. That's a, that's <laughs> a, uh, that's four. Yeah. I'm trying to dig up another one here for pink haired anime girls. I'm waiting to see if you get the one that's like maybe my number one. Are you thinking Urza? Urza no. Scarlet? She's got red hair. No. Your number one pink haired girl? Yeah. I, I don't have her yet? No. Give me the anime. Anya? No. Anya. Yeah, Anya. Anya. There you go. That's number five. Bochi and Anya. I would like to see them fight to the death. I think Anya's my number one. Anya, like, is so good. I don't know. That wasn't necessarily. So, yeah, Yunogasai is definitely one. Zero what? two is. No, Bochi's number two now. Zero wow. two is three. Sakura's four. Anya's five. Gotcha. I, I got- love Anya. It's just, you know, that's a tough list to go up against. I've got some, like, pink haired guys that i like oh. case study of vanitas and skate the you gotta watch these like Ooh, we're not gay anime <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> it's like, all right we'll get we'll get yeah. there eventually you, you gotta watch the genre we're not gay i recently saw you even keep it up with jojo siwa even <laughs> yeah. you even see what she's of doing of course i'm danny motto of you, course you was, i keep up with jojo siwa. you even see what she's doing people yeah. are comparing her to uh, joker like, well, there's, yeah. a, there's like a clown there's like a kiss character in um a gene simmons there's a there's a kiss character in skate the infinity Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Music Joker, video. yeah. Yeah, everyone was like, "Oh, she looks like Joker." And everyone was like, so "Don't." Funny. Everyone was like, "Don't do that to Joker." <laughs> Top pink-haired guys. Yeah. Fucking, you haven't seen Skate the Infinity, but Sherry rolls in fucking it. Fucking god, it's comedy. He, Psyche, Psyche oh, number oh, Psyche one. Psyche K. Psyche K. Psyche's number one pink-haired guy. Nice. I can't think of any other pink haired guys. It's just because I like skate, and it's all the we're not. It's gay all the we're not gay. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right, but. Uh, I do love a pink. Pink hair is like grown on me, like a pink colored design. That was my favorite hair color yeah. that Dorothy ever had. I was, I, I also, I it was unfortunate timing because I got you know as she had pink hair. She was like, "Are you getting me tattooed?" And I was like, right. "She's she's holding an axe and her hands are covered yeah. in blood." All right, we're well, obviously this is not for you. So let's talk about it. Why else am I gonna be upset with you? What else do we have to talk about today? Bochi and Invincible. Let's talk about Bochi. You're gonna be upset with me. About Bochi? No. About Invincible? Mm. Maybe I won't. You won't? We'll see. I have things to talk about. Okay, let's do Bochi first. Let's do Bochi first. Um, I'll just go through my notes. Bochi the Rock. More like Bochi the Nervous Wreck. More like Bochi the Walking Disaster. More like- Get her! More like Calm Down. Get her! <laughs> Put her down! I, so here's the thing. Um, I hate this show. <laughs> Why? <laughs> This was one of the most boring watching experiences. You're a fucking bastard. <laughs> you have I forgot you don't have feelings. God damn it. How did I, I forget you don't have feelings? I watched the first four episodes with Sarah. Okay. I was like, you might like this. Sarah leapt off by episode four. What? She was like, I'm bored as hell. Bochi is so annoying. And then I She get, has social anxiety! <laughs> oh boy, and does she let you know it? Yeah. This Danny, whole it's show, crippling. This whole show is like Bochi, like Bochi interacts with some fucking normal day, normal aspect of human life, and then goes, uh, a trendy cafe, a girl with social anxiety could never order a matcha latte. Absolutely, Danny! No. She's, she she has no friends. She lives inside. You don't understand, because you're an extrovert. No, right. I'm not. Danny's like, oh, I'm an introvert. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't like to be. Do you put Danny in a crowded environment with people he doesn't know? He'll talk to all of them. He'll make a, he'll make a solid connection. People are like, wow, I love Danny. He's like, oh, my social battery's tapped. <laughs> Danny knows. Danny doesn't have social anxiety. Like, Danny, like, maybe. We all have a certain level of social anxiety. Nobody wants to command a crowd 24-7. But Danny, I swear to God, Danny walks up to people at cons. And he's like, hey. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good cosplay from uh, what is that? What is that? Uh, is that is that Bungo Stray Dogs? I know a thing or two about that. And they're like, "Thanks. Why are you looking at me like that?" He's like, "I know a thing or two. <laughs> Danny will walk up the street. I whip, I whip around a neck and go. They should have known no, me. Fucking, they, they know who I am. I am the Stray Dog. Um, so Danny doesn't have social anxiety. I don't either. I absolutely do. No, you don't. She Bochi belongs Not on the in a of- fucking mango box. That's 
but she's trying to not do that. But it, it's, it's, it's about just, growth, Danny. You can't punch your way through every anime. Here's here's what I'll say. This is a show starring Zenitsu. Kind of. Yeah. Who's but all right, all right. At what point <laughs> at what point up in thus uh, far in the anime has Zenitsu tried to better himself? It's a journey I of self-reflection as an introvert is trying to get out into the world and achieve her dream, but she struggles <laughs> with it because she's socially inept. Look, it's not that I don't get it. It's just that, like, this could have been six episodes. What do you, it's a fucking gorgeous story about it's her growing dragging. through the medium. It's, it's a growing through the medium of music. You didn't have to watch the entire thing. Yeah, I did. Yes, we do. You didn't, so you, I don't like that you didn't finish Beastars. I got uncomfortable! <laughs> finish it later. Um... Fucking then win a game, Danny. I'm win gonna get through my notes. I do win a game. I'm not gonna double up if you, and if, be like, you give me season two. You give me if you win a game, you give me season two of B Star. I'll finish season one and watch season two. I don't want. I have other shit to show you. Okay. <sighs> I'm giving you Konosuba next chance I get. Listen, you're gonna love it. But it's, look, you're gonna I, hate it. I get it's th fun. You'll hate it. This <laughs> this is clearly just like a thing that's not for me. Like I get it, and there's like, I I just wanted the hard entry of like i hate this i didn't hate it the first six episodes i did hate okay. i was like i was so close to being like i'm gonna go on the podcast and lie about watching the whole show because i can't get past episode six it's not that episode did six you like the music that's one of the things i like okay so goddamn good so uh no i'll go through my notes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um i have this girl is incapable of functioning in so society yeah this girl should be executed. That's she is insalvageable. She is a waste of breath. <laughs> like, she is. I love the idea. Of, I love the idea of like society just being like, all right, five minute, like five minute speaking presentation in front of a crowd. Yeah. And you're just like, you stumble over a word and they just fucking put you down. <laughs> it's like you get like they're like five minute speaking presentation. You starting like uh today today. Like, they're not wasting time. We got 300 more today. Fucking happy 16th birthday, Dude, everybody. The bent nail gets hammered down, baby. Mm -hmm. She's just like too <laughs> incapable of any fucking thing. And my big like qualm with all oh, you of- have, You have qualms? I have a qualm. Okay. My big qualm mm -hmm. with these like music slice of life shows is that- Is that the, there's no power tournament? Is that no one's dying. Yeah. No, it's, it's that- they're like the lead character is always the fucking like most incompetent bimbo ass dimbo you've ever this seen in your I've, life. I've had this exact conversation with Dorothy because she doesn't like watching things that are like unrealistic. So she's in like, she doesn't like horror movies because she's like, oh, who would do that? Yeah. Who does like, yeah, you need that to happen because the plot needs to move forward. No, you don't. There are ones. Oh, what, what's a what's a better one where this has happened? Slice of Banana life. fish. Rule is not a slice of life. It's, it's a slice of someone's it's life. A, it's about a fucking drug that turns people into zombies. It's a slice of a pretty hard life. You cannot <laughs> compare banana fish to Bochi the Rock. No, but I can because banana fish has this dynamic where, like, all these shows, given Bochi the Rock, Skate the Infinity, given, given, is us. Oh, given, given is this with men. It's just as gay. Oh, it's given. literally just as music. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking, erased. Not I don't know what Given is. Given. We talked about it with Stella. I blacked out. Given is yeah. this, but men. Okay. And they're a little older. They're all literally gay for each other mm -hmm. instead of ambiguously gay. Mm -hmm. um, even though Bochi the Rock is pretty gay. It's pretty gay. But, the uh, lead singer really wants the bassist. Yeah. yeah. Boy, do they. Um, bo 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 boy. 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 Uh, so what you're saying is that you hate women yeah, and that sure. when stories are told through the medium of women, yeah. it's worse. It's just yap, 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 yeah. get in the kitchen, ladies. Uh, yeah, why aren't we kissing yet? Yeah, no, 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 of course. I see where you're going, Daniel. But no, it's like in all these shows, Boat to the Rock, Skate the Infinity, um, uh, Given Banana Fish, there's always this dynamic where there's one character who's like super competent and they're the love interest. And there's the protagonist who doesn't know what the fuck Tuesday is. Yeah. And like in, in skate the infinity, it's like the main character Longa. He's a snowboarder and he like sees someone skateboarding mm. and he's like, I want to become the best skateboarder ever. And it's like, cool, that's fine. And then he like gets on a skateboard and he's like, how, how do I make it move? Yeah. And it's like, bitch, you're like 19. You've never mm. even seen somebody skateboard. This is this is your entire thing with the mailbox. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just want you want competent characters. I just want competent characters, and Banana Fish is good because it has that dynamic where it's like there is like the soft boy love interest and the competent lead, but the soft boy is also competent. That's all I want. And given the main guy's like, I want to be a great guitarist, and he like talks to his love interest, and he's like. Uh, fucking, do I hold it like a violin? Oh, do I? Like, no, I'm, just, I'm just chewing on the top here. I don't yeah. know. And Bochi is like a play on that where she is a very competent in guitar yeah. and nothing else. Yeah, Danny, because it can show that you can be talented in one thing and like, like a star on the internet, but still have trouble facing the world. I do like that. Her, it's a journey of self reflection. I like that her dilemma is, it is very smart. It's very clever that like, she's very good at guitar actually, but being in a band she sucks at. Yeah. That's very cool. Because she sucks at humans. I have, um, I wrote this liberal snowflake doesn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking generation, man. But then I, birth <laughs> rates going down. Kids won't work. Because Bochi is like, I got to get a job. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't work. I'll never work. Mm -hmm. And that's when Sarah's like, this girl sucks. Get a fucking job, yeah. pussy. And then my very next note goes, Yellow-haired bitch is a money-grubbing leech. What do you mean? <laughs> She's hit a quota. You don't get it. You don't get banned culture, Danny. <laughs> she, I, I completely sided with Bochi because then the yellow-haired girl, anytime someone's like, oh. I love that ye yellow-haired. What what's is, her name? Is this the 30s and it's the first time you've seen a blonde? No, one of them, yeah, blonde. What are we doing here? <laughs> it's not blonde. It's, it's Laffy Taffy yellow. What? Okay, because every anime character has like who's blonde is just like oh it's actually ombre like no they fucking <laughs> they're all minato all right it's yellow yeah or it's blonde yeah there we go um fucking she's a money grubbing leech she's uh, fucking trying to make a band somebody's got to be a money grubbing leech somebody's got to figure it out it takes money Danny. Any, anytime one of these girls is like oh let's be friends she's like maybe you can get two jobs <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have All right, consider, Tom Nook, have chill you out. Consider not seeing your family. <laughs> God damn. And then I have uh, <laughs> this is something that I liked. I wrote every now and then it cuts to Bochi playing an absolutely killer riff yeah. on guitar. The fucking solos when her string breaks and she like grabs the yeah. socket, the glass socket, and just playing like yeah. bottle guitar. That was sweet. The when, music is really good. When she picks up the bottleneck and uses it as a slide. Yeah. That was hype. That was, was sick. so unbelievable. That's what hype. made me tear up. That yeah, moment that made moment? me cry. I was proud of her. Wow. Because it's this, it's this moment, right, where the lead singer is like trying to learn guitar because yeah. she's ashamed that she didn't know like she wasn't good enough to play the guitar. That's why she left the like the band originally. She picked up the solo, and then Bochi's like uh, like improvises in the moment something you never thought that Bochi would do. It's about it doesn't need to be oh Goku got stronger and punched somebody. It's she's making steps to be more like to like fill in her role and achieve her dream. It's a beautiful story. I didn't say she has to punch something. I, yeah, I know. But you, listen, listen, listen. First off, you're like, oh, Windbreaker, not enough action. It's literally, <laughs> it's literally a story that. about teenagers stomping each other to death. And <laughs> then you're like, oh, Bochi, not enough action. What do you want? I never said either of these things. You're like, oh, Windbreaker, blows. Oh, Bochi, uh, double blows. Oh, fucking corn dogs, triple blows. What do you want? Jeez. What's your ideal anime? You want music and delinquents? I like, I love your name. Your name has no fighting. Yeah. Oh, I also. Checkmate. I also. I love. I love fucking Howl's Moving Castle. That had music in it too. You can't just name a masterpiece and be like, oh, fucking. Who doesn't love your name, Danny? I'm just saying. You're like, oh, she has to uppercut. You no, know I actually like. I like. Uh, I like Mozart. I like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I like. Um. Uh, I was gonna say a Mozart song. I don't know any. <laughs> <laughs> I like a, a uh, disco stick yeah, by yeah, Mozart. Like a sandstorm by, by Mozart. He could play it. He could, <laughs> I'm sure. Could absolutely play it. But uh, I have, uh, I like the bit where, I like the bit where uh, the camera is attached to Bochi's guitar neck. Like she's a soldier about to assassinate Osama it's Bin Laden. It's fully a POV. It's fully a POV. My favorite part about Bochi is when they cut to super realistic images. And it'll occasionally just be like TV. And you're like, yeah. oh, what the fuck? Yeah. I love it. At the end, they're just in a real world guitar shop. Yeah. Just walking around like it's an adult swim mm -hmm. like bumper. It is. It is literally an adult swim bumper. Yeah. Where it's like 30 seconds. Like, oh, God. Yeah. It's like the, have you seen, do you watch Smiling Friends? Yeah, of course. 
to the episode one, they have Gwimbly. Yeah. And like Gwimbly is like like a 3D rendered character next yeah. to all of them. And it's like just like unsettling. Yeah. It's like the, to those of you who like, I don't know, who have functional brains. You better it's like when SpongeBob, explain the lore of Gwimbly. No, I'm not going to explain <laughs> like, the lore of Gwimbly. I'm going to say it's like in SpongeBob when they had the yeah. gorilla suit. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And it was like the gorilla suit popped out of nowhere. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. I, I love that you know Smiling Friends. I love Have you Smiling seen Friends. season one? No. I literally just started watching season two. Well, I was like, I, okay, I, I, I'm so fucking brain rotted that like, I just like episode one of season two popped up on my TikTok and yeah. I just watched the entire thing and then just kept scrolling. I was like scrolling for like two hours. And, like every third episode would just be an, every third video would be another episode of Smiling Friends and they're like 10 minutes long. <laughs> so I just watched all of season two wow. through TikTok. Wow. I know. I think so. Only season one is out. <laughs> so what do you mean? No, season two is, I no. fully watched a couple of episodes. So season two, one episode is out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so did you see just... the shrimp one no where he's like yeah you have that uh, iconic shrimp glow everybody's talking about no i watched the one where their boss freaks out i watched the one where he yeah. punches the the stick guy in the neck and he's like you know he's like blah, 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 and then he punches him that's like, oh. easy <laughs> <laughs> i told you i was gonna do that what am i, I like the hardest i've laughed in a very long time yeah. um i love the bit where did you see it with his grandma and the like lollipop in that episode where yes, he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, Grandma, why are you in hell? And she's like, oh, I cursed and said, damn, in 1952. Yeah. yeah. That's, it's, yeah. So, it's so much fucking fun. Um, so anyways, you didn't like Boat to the Rock. Is I that have, all of your notes? No, hold on. Um, there's bits that I really, really liked. Okay. I like, oh, I have a note that says four real dams. There's a part where she's throwing up and it's just four images of dams. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but anyway, I love uh, when the manager goes up to her and she's like, I see you. Yeah. Hype. Yeah. The manager's great. I, I love, love that the manager is like great. into both. Her and the other girl yeah. that works friend. there. I'm like, <laughs> dream women. <laughs> Scary punk girls. Yeah, it was sure. an affliction of mine for years. I just love that she like gets bochi oh yeah um i like who's your favorite character probably her bochi or the the, the owner okay the I think drummer's the older sister yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah my favorite character the super drunk bassist i love her <laughs> yeah. she's just fucking vibing she's just hammered at a kid's show okay yeah. just like i mean she's just stumbling in to a fucking because apparently everybody can go to these like mid like high school yeah. prep rallies so she's just stumbling yeah, she's on just fucking like, sloshed just yeah. I'm, here for the, I'm here for the child i'm not related to i love yeah. it i'm here for the assembly yeah <laughs> like um what uh wait oh it the drunk girl she has a uh fucking she she plays her band yeah. plays a song and the lyrics at first i was like these are the worst lyrics ever because mm -hmm. it goes up late doing spot the difference puzzles. Oh, what fun. That's some hard rock, dude. That's a fucking sick line. What are you, doing? you need to understand. All right, you need to understand. All right. One. Up late doing spot the difference puzzles. You need to understand. Okay, here's the thing. They, they're specifically that band that they run. The Japanese, okay, I think the reason you didn't appreciate the show as much as I do is that like I am very ingratiated in the Japanese music scene, especially like the rock scene. Uh -huh. And it's like, there's so many sub genres of rock and it's like all these tiny venues, like two, 300 venues, like person venues. And like, yeah, like, kind of like how they stay, what, what is their Kisuke band or something like that? Yeah. Whatever their, whatever their band is. Um, they're like, oh, we're at this one club. And it's kind of that thing. Like you go to this one club to see this band. So like I saw like Oda Boca Beaver, Massive Fermenting Dregs, all of these like incredible bands in these super intimate spots. And like so many of the lyrics are just fucking off the walls, batshit insane. And it's like supposed to be edgy, but in a weird way. Yeah. And so like, that's kind of what they are. So anyway, I'll yeah. finish my note um, because it's a joke. Oh, gotcha. Um, the first set of lyrics is up late doing spot the difference puzzles oh what fun terrible line great line i was like this is so what is this band and then it goes i've got toast spread thick with lies would you like to try there's only one ghost and it's me and i was like oh that's hard that was real hard that's hard it's real hard i love it i love that there's only one ghost and it's me is really cool um oh i uh, had a panic attack when her E string peg broke mm. out of nowhere. I started to care about yeah. this show That's the in the last episode. Yeah. So yeah, when that happened, that was hype. Uh, I have her dad's been stealing all of her ad revenue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's, I, just, I love the idea of him. Just, yeah. Just like, Oh yeah. You make money on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, here's fucking enough money for three guitars. Yeah, I like, guess like, like just throws like a thousand dollars. It's like, here you go. Yeah. How much is 300,000 yen? 300,000 yen is $3,000. 
so much money. It's twenty five hundred dollars. It's a ton of money. Yeah, one dollar is one hundred and thirty ish yen right now. Wow. Yeah. Outrageous. It's a fuck ton of money, but yeah. she's on YouTube and she's popular. But so. Yeah, so that's it. It's just not for me. I like really don't care about slice of life, and it's just like so. Like every episode, it's like oh. Uh, uh, d- talking to a person? How can someone with social anxiety do that? So you're never gonna watch Kaguya-sama love his work because that's like Kaguya-sama love. Is that love all it is? It's literally overthinking the anime. Yeah, but it's also one of the most popular anime of all time. That's just not for me. It's just not for you. Fuck it's fu- it was funny enough. <sighs> Should I just give you? I just, I'm just gonna give you fucking Darling in the Franks next time. Sure. You'll like Darling in the Franks. Fucks. Sure. It's a mech anime. Have, yeah. You've seen eighty six, right? You saw eighty six. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. You gave me that one already. That one, like, Darling in the Franks kind of, like, set the bar. That came out, like, right before 86. And, I, like, that set the bar for, like, fun mech anime. 86 took it to, like, a political level of, like, mastery. Right. Fuck. I wish you liked Bochy the Rock. Should we talk about Invincible? Sure. I don't know. It's fucking chill. I don't know. Fucking, it was fun. Yeah? It was fun. Wow. It was fun. I thought, you said I would be mad at you for your opinion. It's, okay. Uh, can I? Because I, I thought you were going to really like it. Here's my thing. Yeah. Oh, I watched episode seven and episode eight today. Yes. Episode seven. So fucking mid. Yeah. They start with like him going to Comic-Con with oh, yeah. April and they're like, oh, the seance dog writer. And then they do this weird fucking bit where he's like, they do this like fourth wall break yeah. where they're like, oh, sometimes we'll pan to the top of somebody's head while they talk or the back of their head. Or we'll like, we'll do a big like frame out shot. But like, you don't realize it, but like, you don't realize it, but nobody's moving. So it's not actually animation. And then it's like, also like sometimes like that'll save us like so much money that we can get really into still yeah. shots. And sometimes it doesn't even look like a regular show. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing here? Because here's the thing, here's the thing, here's my, here's my fucking thing uh, Amazon oh boy that's a funny joke objectively uh. <laughs> if your show didn't just take a three month break because you were like oh I don't know the animation team and the voice actors can't figure it out why are we joking about being like oh sometimes we gotta cut we gotta cut around how much we can animate yeah. meanwhile you guys almost killed your entire show with the break you took yeah so those oh, fuck it, that was stupid that pissed me off I uh, can I just talk about that yep so they do I also hate that bit. Yeah. People love that bit. Here's why I think that bit is worth hating. Stupid. Because in the comic, people love it because it's like a throwback to the comic. In the comic, they do the same thing where it's like, he'll be like, oh, we uh, will re repeat the same panel like four times to save time and money. Yeah. And it's like the guy explaining this and it's this long explanation over four panels of the same image. Yeah. So it's funny. And then it cuts to Mark and he says nothing, and it's just like, you know, oh, funny, they, you know, are saving money this way. Yeah. That works in a comic that is, like, indie as hell, yeah. like Invincible was at the time. Mm-hmm. It was by Image Comics, which is already, like, an independent, like, comic company. Yeah. I guess not so much anymore now that the boys in Invincible are huge. Mm-hmm. But, like, at the time, very indie. Invincible itself was a very cheap indie comic that makes sense and is funny because it's like, oh, th- th- haha, we're cheap, but like we're making it work. Yeah, it's still a good story. Yeah. This is a fucking Amazon show. Yeah. And it doesn't look good. No. <laughs> like, it doesn't. Like, it, th- that's my thing. They're like laughing about yeah. it. They're like, oh, we're I trying know. to save money. You have, there's two shows on Amazon. Yeah. Three now with Gen V. Like three shows that you should put all of your fucking money into. And Invincible looks bad. I know. It looks Bad. That's my thing. It's like they're doing this, like these yucks, and they're like, they're like, yeah. When you cut to a wide shot, you don't even notice nothing's moving. And I'm uh, like, fucking, I do actually. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how dare you? You're fucking. This this would be a way better bit if the show looked good. Yeah, it was like Demon Slayer being like, <laughs> like so the fucking Rock Lee and his Ninja Pals do a yeah. really good job of oh, this yeah. exact fucking joke because Rock Lee and his Ninja Pals is like a comedy spinoff of Naruto that follows Rock Lee, and they're and the the bad guy of all of it is Sasuke because like. He's like Sakura loves him, all these kinds of things. And Rock Lee and Sasuke have this incredibly highly, like highly animated. One of the greatest fights in Naruto is in Rock Lee and his Ninja Pals. And because it's so intense, like for the animators, at the end of it, when the fight's over, both of them go into like squiggly, like terrible yeah. 2D, and they're like, "That was sorry, we tuckered out our animators." That's funny. Yeah, that's that's a good way of doing it. Yeah. Being like, "Oh, we got a save time here." Meanwhile, Mark, his father, and his mother all have butthole black eyes for two fucking episodes. <laughs> yeah. The least, the least convincing looking and most uncomfortable yeah. looking black eyes of all time. They look like Pete Davidson on fucking steroids, dude. 
it's like the only wound they know how to draw. The only wound. Like, Every time Mark gets punched, it's just I know. purple butthole eye. I was also like that. I was like, can we stop with the... And then once him and his mom having a conversation. Sitting side by side with <laughs> butthole eyes on the same fucking eye. And then they cut to <laughs> Nolan in space, who just got beaten up by fucking I Krieg know. or whatever. Also, same butthole eye. I know. It's so... And it's always on the same side. It's always there. It's always their fucking right eye. I know. It's like, it must be like something they just copy and paste. Absolutely. Like, it must be that. And then they're like, oh, did you, you didn't even notice. And it's like, no, I noticed. It looks it. bad. It's, it's uncomfortable looking. It's, it's funny, too, because in that Comic Con episode, the whole time after that, like, insulting bit, mm -hmm. because, again, they, like, should have the money, which is Amazon's fault, I yeah. guess, not the animators. Yeah. But, like, also the show looks bad just <laughs> in general. Um, After that bit... I was so, fu I was like, we need to get out of Hall H of Comic-Con here yeah. because I keep seeing the same three fucking CGI background characters they put repeated the fucking, they over put, they and put over. They the black, like the black the Akatsuki Naruto, Akatsuki member. the Akatsuki yeah. member three fucking times. They did it with like, there's like a pirate that's in it like six times. Yep. The Akatsuki member's in it three times. And it's like, Oh, why are you nitpicking? I'm not. It's the fucking 80% of the screen is a CGI, terrible looking background yep. with the same three character models. And 20% of the screen it, is Mark and Amber hardly moving. Yeah. So it, it's, it's like, like what you, am I supposed to look it's at? It's like when you're playing 2K and you pan into the crowd and you just see it's like, oh, they just repeat the same four character yeah. models for the entire crowd. And it's like, that's what they did. In a in a million yeah. dollar project. Yeah, dude. It was it's the fucking like this season ruthlessly mid which yeah. is like, like and uh, to be fair i don't remember i remember liking i think around this time the comic got a big art quality increase mm -hmm. so that helped that this is a huge like setup season yeah i will say season three like i want to say it's going to be really hype but i know i'll have the same issues because like i really hate like the art yeah. <laughs> of this show just objectively does it looks muted yeah. it doesn't like there's a lot of times when people are just like standing there and I'm like, why is your character model like fucking whack? Like, why does Nolan look like a gorilla right now? Yeah, like, like and it's just like, all right. I also, there was another one. Yeah. Um, there was like the Anissa, Anissa fight was like kind of cool that I like. fine. She's cool. Um, she looks like a big baby for some reason, but like, like her cheeks are really big and her lips are half her face, but. Yeah, then we got the um, Rex Splode versus Octo guy that fight. Was hype. Which, but, but like, all right, for like spots of it are hype. And yeah. then there was a 35, 40 second thing where it was just, a, it was a slideshow. Yeah. It was just him like throwing an explosion and you would just see like. Yeah, and yeah. And like, what is it? Is this fucking record of Ragnarok? What are we doing here? Like, this yeah. is some, like, obviously Rex Splode is one of the more important characters in this arc. He gets shot in the brain. We got a lot of like cool looking fights, like him versus the lizard gang was really cool. That's what I meant. That's the hype one. That was him good. Him fighting the Octo guy? Yeah, that was. It was a slideshow. Yeah, that was a slideshow. I was like, it. that came after the Comic Con thing too. So I was like, Way to be like, oh, we have cheap animation so the fights can look good <clears> and then give us like the worst fight the of worst the season. The worst fight of the season, easily. Yeah. And then like like Mark versus- Anissa. Well, Anissa or... was cool. And then Mark versus, like Anissa, she seems cool. I like her. Do you? She's kind of sexy. Yeah. Do you know? What? Nothing. She seems cool. I don't know. She, she led with reason. Yeah. Listen, all right. I also, can I, can I, yeah. um, can I say something? Go on. Can I say something a little controversial here? Oh, let's see. So here's my thing. Well, let's see. Um, Where does this go? Is Viltrumite rule that bad? Is um, what? Is Viltrumite rule that bad? It, it, listen, 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 listen. Everyone's like, oh, freedom. No, humanity. Humanity wants to listen. We, <laughs> humanity. Humanity said, we've had freedom for too long. All, All right. right. Listen, when it comes down to, when it comes down to like, oh, oh, do you want like, do you want freedom, like freedom or, or safety? They're like, mm -hmm. hey, we can repair the ozone. We can save human lives. Yeah. We can fucking, I was like, yeah. Mark's better than me, apparently, because the second they were like, oh, we can repair the ozone. I'm like, yeah, cool, man. Yeah, fuck it. Absolutely. Yeah, come fix on in. Her up. Also, like, uh, I don't think my teeth kick down my throat anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on in. You mean I don't have to get my butthole eye and we can fucking we can get the, the ozone below 350 CPMs of, of CO2? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Fucking, I'll, I'll clear the way for you. Listen, I get it. I get it. Occasionally it's murdery, right? Yeah. I don't know why it's always so murdery. Why they just like murdering. They're like a conqueror race. I mean, they wouldn't slave they, humans. But oh, is, that, is that what it is? Yeah. Is, 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 They're a slave race. Is, 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 is slaves? Yeah. But then why would they Why would they want that? Why would Why would they want that? Humans want that? They the, don't. I thought, no. I thought the Viltrumites just came in. They're like, we own this now. It's like black. It's like white beard in one, one piece. He's like, I protect this. Uh, like, it's, Here's it's like the Yakuza. So they're just like around and they have cool tattoos? I mean. Like swords? You don't see like. 
What I do don't know. Well, you know, you don't see it happen. What if, but, like, if you, but if you're cool about it, they're like, we want this planet. You're like, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't they just, wouldn't they just come in with like, we own you I don't now? think anyone has ever once wanted to be conquered, regardless I, of how cool the pitch is. Okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing, right? Everyone's like, oh, 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 but the human, humans won't have freedom. Human, I need my freedom. Yeah. First off, you don't have it already. You, uh, you, you, you think you have it, but it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. Like if the government ever gets Ever hear of the electoral college? Oh, more like uh, the electoral fakery. T yeah, tag me in. The uh, elect snorrel college. Fucking got him. Oh. It's like, oh, oh, aliens take over the government. Cool. Uh, do I still have to pay rent? Who gives a shit? Yeah. I don't care who's in charge. Yeah, I just be the first alien I see, I'd be like, mm, no more taxes. Yeah. Mm. Like, oh, you have, you have infinite energy. You have yeah. infinite energy machines. Uh, so I don't pay yeah. income tax anymore. Like, <laughs> as long as I can do my job and go to the beach, yeah. I don't give a, I don't give a shit who's in charge. But if they, but if they make them slaves, that's. I think they're slaves, my dude. Yeah. That, why, would they say, why would anybody say yes? Because no one's like, hey, let's slave it up. Well, well, okay, <laughs> like, well, like, all right, but it's, like, all right, hey, we just change the flag. If we're just changing the flag and it's like, hey, build your mentor. It's slaves, my guy. Oh. Wow. Because it was such a good pitch. I know. It was such a good pitch. She's convincing. She's kind of sexy, too. Sure. She's kind of sexy. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Why, why? What are you doing? Nothing. What? What? I'm just saying Sure. What's wrong with Anissa? I'm sure she kicked the shit out of him. Yeah. But every person that's ever met Mark kicked the shit out of you. You're, if you want to think- being, You're being fucking weird about her. I'm not being weird. If you want to think she's sexy now- What do you mean you now? You feel like she's sexy. What do you mean now? Nothing. <sighs> now I'm upset. Anyway. You've upset me. Uh, Mark versus Angstrom Levy. Last episode was pretty good. I liked him killing a guy. Yeah. I liked that. Yeah, that's good. That was good. That's good. I good. fucking, who's, what's the, what's the voice actor's name? Steven Young. Incredible, incredible job. He did really well with his like post killing a guy speech with his mom where yeah. he's like, I need to learn how to control this. And she's like, college is important. And he's like, this is important. Also, like he's fully right. Like, yeah. why the fuck was he in college in the first place? I don't know. It, it, well, yeah, he's totally right. He's like, what am I going to do? Be a coder? Yeah. Like, I'll fucking. Like, his dad was like a, what did, he, during the day, he was like a real estate agent or some shit. Yeah. So some... Like, like an author. It's like the majority There's of the time is author. fighting kaiju. Well, it's funny because he's like, Amber was like, you should ask Cecil for a salary. And I'm like, you're doing this shit for free? That's this community thing. service? Well, I guess technically. I guess it'd be illegal. Because he's a child. Well, he's an adult now. Well, no, I guess it's vigilanteism if he doesn't work for Cecil, right? So that's how but you like, get out of paying is he, them. Is he not in the League of Justice or whatever the fuck it's well, called? Well, but I mean, I guess that's how he gets around it, where it's like, hey, we're not going to pay you. But, but they pay for everything. But we won't arrest you. But we'll you. also like give you a babysitter and fix your house when it yeah, gets broken they do up. Yeah, hook you and we'll up. give you mom, your mom medical and yeah. like all these like, like they're always, they're fine. Yeah, like they're yeah. not struggling. His mom's also a very successful real, real estate, estate, estate agent, agent yeah. which is crazy. Yeah. It's like, hey, my husband killed Chicago. Time to go, time to go move these fucking, <laughs> yeah. these fucking brand new Looks builds. like an opportunity to me. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Time to pop up some condos. Um, But uh, yeah, I liked his fight with Angstrom Levy. They yeah. made that motherfucker evil i was listen when, when he's he just snapped, grabbing the kid when he was like yeah he was just manhandling a baby and i yeah. was like yeah no, we should kill this dude for sure yeah. mark was a little bit <laughs> oh listen i understand <laughs> about I fully what under, about I, the, what the only reason i would be upset about killing angstrom levy first yeah. off it barely looks like a human anymore right at that point like you kill a person you're like oh no that was a person he's got this big old this big old brain thing yeah. that's a monster you know like fucking nah get your pitchfork out the only reason i'd be upset about killing angstrom levy is the fact that I'm now stuck on barren earth. Yeah. I was like, uh, my entire, my, my note was, um, uh, ooh, there it is. Maybe wait to juice the dude in your own <laughs> dimension <laughs> because he fucking wrung that man out. He yeah. fucking, he made a, he made a levy smoothie. Yeah. Well, I like the bit. I don't love how they had Steven Young deliver it. I think Steven Young could have delivered it. I, I had it delivered different in my head when I read in the comic, yeah. but in the comic, juiced and then he's sitting there and like in horror he's like i thought you were stronger yeah which is a great line it's a great I, line i love the idea that he's like i thought i had like six more punches yeah. in me like, yeah. but like but it's also a cool like double entendre because he's like saying it to himself also or like you know he could be where yeah. it's like i thought you were better than this to mm -hmm. kill a guy um but i like the idea that he says it in horror in the comic and in this he's like i thought I thought you were stronger. Yeah. And it's like, Hey man, better um, in my head. That's brain on your knuckle. Yeah. yeah like my yeah. entire thing with that is like, Hey, Angstrom Levy, smartest guy in the universe, yeah. like transcending dimensions, all of that. He's like, that's why I sent you across the multiverse. And then he's like, 
now I'm going to fight a, a fist fight you. Yep. Like he was like, I made my body stronger. Hey man, why are you stick doing to a what, Southern accent? Stick to what you, I don't remember what it sounds like. He's just, both times you're like, I made my body stronger. I made my, <laughs> listen, I, I, I found Jenna and now I'm going to beat your ass. I made my body stronger than a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking absolutely. And then he ended up dying in the desert like a lizard. He did yep. a great job. So it yeah. was, I don't know. It was fun. Last episode was good. Every other episode truly mid. was really, really mid to bad this season. I, I didn't thought. understand what the fucking the future people showing up being like, come on back. Yeah. I don't. There was like the justice. All right. So Mark's Guardians time, of the Globe. Yeah, yeah. The Guardians of the Globe show up and they're like, you've been gone for 20 years, but he has it because he goes back. Do they use a time machine? Yeah, they used a time machine. They use a time machine to send it back to his dimension. It's to his time. Was he in the future? Could Nick. Ancient Levy travel through time? No. So, well, yes. Sorry. This is this is fantastic role reversal, by the way. Yeah. Like, please, like, mansplain it to me. He, Ancient Levy, took him to a different dimension. Yes. Correct. Then, time in, moves in woody, his, woody. Yeah, in his own dimension, Mark is gone for twenty years, mm -hmm. and then they build a time machine in that time. Yeah. Go back in time and to that dimension gotcha. to get Mark. And then put him back in his own dimension. Because if they went back in time in 20 years, he'd probably be dead. Or there was a part where Mark was like, I wouldn't have survived out here. And Robot was like, you did. You wouldn't have liked what you became. He probably becomes a weird feral man. Wait, 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 wait. wait. But here's my... Okay, so, so, they, so Mark... There's a future Mark 20 years ahead that Robot Man knows. They probably went to that dimension in their own time period. Gotcha. And we're like, oh, this this yeah. dude sucks now. And no. then we're oh, like, oh, 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 oh. Let's go yeah. back before he turned into whatever this is. Interesting. Yeah. Also, Robot Man is Rex and not and I don't know his name. Uh, Rudy. Rudy. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Andrew. Yeah, he's Rex. Yeah. But like, I was like, why is he Rex? Also, did not love that haircut on Eve. But like, also, <laughs> man, they, were just interesting. Fucking, they just buried Amber. They just, like, they were like, hey, uh, not yeah, gonna true. work. Amber is the fucking, Amber's the great. She's the goat. Really? She's fucking, she's so down for Mark to like go save the world. I love her as Yeah, character. this season. Yeah, well, that, I mean, fair. You know, yeah. like, he didn't tell her the truth until yeah. like, like later on to the relationship. But like, the second that they, like, it was like kind of established that they broke up, they were like, oh, now go get Eve. Yeah. Immediately. Amber's fine. Her body wasn't even cold yet. Yeah, true. Well, it's funny too, because they came to this dimension like, like they have a time machine <clears throat> and they come and pick him up like, uh, like six days or whatever yeah. after he kills Ang. Do it like maybe the second he gets to the dimension or whatever. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, there. Yeah, like fucking yeah, yeah. Like before he kills, like yeah. before he like goes through generational trauma. It's just fine that they're like, eh, roughly we'll be yeah, there. Yeah, like, we'll get there. Oh, yo, he's covered in blood. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll just pretend that we did this on purpose. Yeah, exactly. Right. But uh, yeah, it was fine. Uh, fine. You know, it'll be back in seven years and we'll watch season three. Uh, we need to talk about Hasman Hotel. Oh, that's right. Something we said we were going to do. A I long need water. Time. All right, pause. I'll talk to chat. Danny's back. So we're going to get into this has been hotel. We, I watched this uh, like two weeks ago. It feels like way longer because I miss it. I kind of want to rewatch it. I think I'm going to watch hell of a boss because nice. I like what I like. I just like it. Yeah. I listen. I'm at, listen. Maybe I was the Tumblr kid who got lost. You know, I never stumbled upon. I dated a girl who super into Tumblr and her entire Tumblr was just literally naked women. And I was like, this is wild. And I was like, this is a porn site. And she's like, it's not a porn site. And I'm like, okay, that's a picture of a book. The rest are nipples. Mm -hmm. It's a porn. It's a porn site. Uh, and it is. And I think there's been a really good narrative going around recently that like, oh, if you're reading smut on a library, you're a pervert. Like if you're like, oh, this is my, this is my smut book that I read on a, on a train. You're a pervert. I don't, you don't think see so. Me, you don't see me watching fucking double anal gape videos in, in public. When I do, it's a problem. Well, the problem but is. But when you're reading as he fucking dumped hot loads into me, I bit down on a pillow next to me while you're sliding off your seat. That's right. a problem. Well, the problem is that if someone, if like a child looks over at your phone, they'll see someone just getting a train run on Oh, you them. think you think kids can't read, Danny? They, yeah, no, I do yeah. think nowadays, that. <laughs> nowadays they can't because the fucking Biden. Okay, so we're doing Has Been Hotel. Uh, we're gonna go through all the songs chronologically, and we're gonna rank them. Rank them F to S. Yeah. Cool. Uh, happy Day in Hell. First one up. Yeah. This is it's a Happy Day in Hell. This is the first song. You have to do all of them, and it's a great. I'm gonna. I'll do. I'll do a couple of words for yeah. one because cool. I have been listening to these. Nice. I've been. I've had this entire album on loop, and the more I listen to it. It's, it's like 50% misses. Like, Whoa. Like 50% of the songs I skip. 
I'm like, mm -mm, not doing this anymore. I think I'm a little higher than 50%, but I think we'll find out with this tier list. I this just, is a skip. The Happy Day in Hell is the most C energy of yeah. all time. It's like, a, it's a good song. Yeah. Uh, the the main actress is an incredible singer. It's just safe. It's safe. And it's like, oh, you're like, oh shit, this is a musical? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it's a pretty good song. I was like, oh, it brought me in a little bit. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool. This is this is fine. C is a very safe for Happy Day in Hell because, yeah. you know, it introduces you. It's just very like musical theater, like yeah. safe Frozen. first song. Everybody was like, oh, the fact that he said that has been hotels frozen with swears is crazy. I'm like, it's really not that crazy. Mm -hmm. Half of the songs could be in Frozen if you censored them. Mm -hmm. Like it's literally, if it was, if instead of Frozen, it was called Fire. Yeah. Fucking Happy, Happy Day in Hell belongs in Frozen. Absolutely. And a lot of the songs on this list also belong in Frozen. You know what doesn't? Uh, hell, hell is forever. Is forever. <laughs> I don't it. know. And, and then, uh, bum, 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 bum. what's yeah. the next one? Hell is forever and it's meant to suck a lot. Great song. Yeah. Adam coming in with an absolute guitar riff. His yeah. incredibly hot lady friend who gets arm ripped off at the end. So goddamn good. At least A, right? Hell is forever? How? Okay, so there's there's 16 songs total. Yeah. How many would be too many S's? I think we should say we get two S's. Okay. Two S's. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I said okay. I, I, I think I gave four songs an S when I did this tier list. All right, then let's go channel. one below that. Let's go three. Let's okay, be a little yeah. bit more cons like discerning. Yeah. I think Hell is Forever deserves, I'd say an A. Okay. I'd say it deserves an A. I'm interested to see what your, I think I know your two S's. I don't know what a third is, but I'll give it A. I don't know what my, I don't, I don't know what my third S is. I, I, I we're, we're going to get to it. Yeah. I think I know what my third S is. Okay. It might surprise you though. Okay. Hell is um, Forever is an A. Hell is Forever is a hard A. Yeah, the fair. song fucks. A for Adam. Shreds at A for Adam and D. Yeah. D. The worst character in the entire show. But God damn it. It's just like every time Adam sings, it's Divorce Dad Corp. It's Chevelle. It's like, um, it's like a uh, oh, fucking mud, a puddle of mud. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's go, like, it's like she mud. took the kids yeah. and you're just driving in your new charger that yeah. you bought to like forget <laughs> her with like no baby seat as your four year old yeah. is in the passenger seat. Like, it's, it's that song. She fucking hates, hates me. me. Yeah. Great song. Oh, Great yeah. song, which is about, you know, your fucking wife, your ex-wife being her, a bitch. Yeah. Her fucking hating you. Susan. Yeah. Uh, so hell is forever is fantastic. Stayed gone. Yes. <sighs> Great song. B song. Stay gone. Wow. I wish that you'd stayed gone. Yeah, Turn almost. The TV on. <laughs> it's a great. It's the first duet. Well, it's yeah. not like the first duet, but it it's is. like a, it's like a head well, to header. Yeah, I love sixty percent of that song. I it's, love. Okay, the I intro love the is bump, so bums. slow. No, I disagree. Love the intro. I love the like, like. You don't like well, the rap. You don't like, the, you don't like the rap bits. I don't like the rap bits. Yeah. I don't like when he's like. Hey, everybody, this, this, this guy sucks. Well, you've done this thing occasionally on this podcast where you're like, oh, I hate ethnic music. So that makes sense. Yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah. You're, whoa, like, you're like, oh, I don't get, I don't get these, I don't get these beats and jives. <laughs> Listen, I like the bluegrass. That's me. You're always talking on this like whole That's me, part baby, the original when, deadhead. When they start rapping real quick, you're like, oh, I don't know. Only Ed Sheeran can do this. It just gets too schmaltzy Sh for the me. The fuck is schmaltzy? <laughs> It's too schmaltzy. It's a fake word. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a fake word. Schmaltz? It, yeah, it's like corny kind of. Okay. I think. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, but uh yeah, I don't like I don't like that bit. I don't like the fast bit when they're going head to head. But I love the like bum dum bum mm. dum that bit. That's really good. Yeah, the fucking jazzy fucking it's the show tunes part. It's of the it. show tunes yeah, part. I love the rap bits. I no. love it just because it's a it's a rap battle. Wow, it's a rap battle in the middle right. of fucking. It's okay. We can go put her at us. No, no, put her at us. But if, it's I, if we're doing three it's S's, it's your tier list. I already did this on DannyMata.com slash YouTube. We're riding together. It's a it's a it's a shared experience. Danny. Put it at us. <sighs> it's a shared experience, and it's for, we're supposed to be in this together. It's S for Nick. It it's B for me. With sorry. Here's how I feel about. that I feel like every Charlie song is just a B. Yeah. It's good. Like it's good. Cause here's the thing. That is a good song, yeah. but it's like an Aladdin song. It's like, uh, it's, it's all Disney. Every Charlie song is a Disney princess. Song. Yeah. It's like, uh, what's the one that Jasmine sings? I could show you the world. That's Aladdin actually. But, uh, it's like that song where I'm like, good song. Well-made song. Yeah. Am I going to listen to it ever again? No, no, no. B. It's like good within the confines of the song, like the, the, the show, it yeah. gets the show moving forward. It's fun. Charlie's a great singer, mm -hmm. but like, yeah, it's a, it's a B. 
Uh, this is we're about to hit a stretch where we do not agree. Mm -hmm. Respectless. Terrible. It's bad. Terrible song. It's F. Bad. I F just song. okay. Here's my thing. I love rap. Yeah. I hate British rap. I hate that. Woman, I hate. Yeah, yeah. It's just. I hate fucking, being like, I'm a hashtag bitch now. Don't you know? <sighs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> There's times where this show, I'm like, oh, this is written by a 32 year old, and I'm uh -huh. like, and now I can like feel it with my skin. There's like, it's like, I was like, I'm like, I'm hashtag trendy. And I'm just like, I'm gonna fucking blow my brains out right like on screen. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is this is an F. Yeah, this is a solid F. Mm -hmm. I hate that song. Whatever it takes. Uh, S. Wait. Whatever it takes. Yeah, S. It's like her like, singing about how she's going to protect her children. Yeah, that's the Evanescence one. That's an S. C. That's an S plus. C. You're out of your mind. C. You're insane. I just don't. How, even when it kicks in the gear, it's fine. It's so good. It's just not the kind of rock I subscribe to. You're crazy. Oh, oh, what? Because it's not a 12-year-old singing Black Hole Sun. I, Danny, <laughs> Danny, Danny. I don't. I, that's one song. I, I, oh, I had this fucking conversation with Dorothy today where I was like, Danny has this warped perception of my music. Music is such a big part of my life. I'm on the fucking. I listen to I listen to. You're Japanese. so frequently bitching to Dorothy about me. I do. <laughs> You're the number one thing we talk about. I just stay up at night. I'm like, you fucking He's in my head, man. He's in there. Fucking, Nick hates me. I do. Sometimes when you're like, oh, Nick only listens to fucking one black holes. I play uh, one song for Danny. Yeah. You love my music days. You no. just hyper focus on it. I'm, if I showed you Japanese city pop, I'd blow, I'd blow your fucking mind. I'd blow you. I'd blow, I'd blow you. I'd fucking <laughs> I'd palatiate you. the hell out of you. I can't believe you'd give this a C. Under fucking it starts with sorry you're out of your I mind like, i like those songs danny yeah. i love show tunes i'm learning a lot about myself it's crazy i'm learning a lot about you too and i don't like what i see poison s s also that yeah. was my third s yeah i love uh, angel if angel's in a song i love it. wait you only have two s's three no currently you only have two well because i wanted to put an s on stay gone that was my there's a there's gonna be a well, third there. There's gonna be a third end. Okay, go on. Anyway, this poison. is incredible. Poison. I'm loving you, poison. They also like the the story being built here about like you know obviously Angel dealing with an abusive relationship and like like the actual like true context behind that relationship and how Angel can't like stop from going back like one because like obviously the the undertone here is that like. Angel is in a contractual obligation with one of the V's and so Angel can't like battle back against it. But like also it's like talks about the perpetual nature of like an abusive relationship. But also Angel's voice actor is sick. <laughs> he's very good. He's yeah. a bit so talented because like he does like the tri-state area thing. Like the tri-state, he's like, oh honey. Like I'm, I don't, I can't, I can't, I tried, I tried, I tried to do like a, a Harley, a Harley Quinn, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Harley Quinn. Why do you Queen? want, why do you want to be Southern let today? Me, wait, let me, find, let me find it. Holly, Holly Quinn. <laughs> no. Try to do a Harley Quinn or one of them. Harley Quinn. Yeah. I, my roommates and I have been doing a bit uh -huh. where it's like, so like a French person who's like, <laughs> It was like asking how to say something and mm. they do it in a completely different accent. So it's like, it's like, yeah, it's, it's a, uh, how, how'd you, how'd you say, how'd you say, uh, uh get me a nice steak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, it's like, hey, co como se dice, como se dice, uh, uh, oh, I'll take two. Why was it? Why'd you go Spanish? I thought you were doing a, a French bit. A different alternate. Like, yo, yo, you got, you got, there's fucking version. variations. It's just a different version. It could be anyone who doesn't speak English or have a Western accent. This is them doing a Western accent. Do Jamaican. Do that iconic Jamaican one you always do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I wanted to do the TikTok thing. So I go, oh, I see. <laughs> what Did you not that? see this TikTok no, thing? It was that? this girl talking about, like, she's, I think she was like half Jamaican or something. And she's like, I don't like do a Jamaican accent. It was, she was like, talking about like, a video about being biracial and how some people who like pass as white are like, oh, I'm black. It was, like the logic, basically, logic, like people of All the right. world. And she was like, I'm half black, but I don't like half Jamaican. And I don't go like rice and beans. But everybody was like stitching it and be like, this is fucking wild. And she's like making a really good point, like a really good video, like very like, like progressive and woke video and everyone was like this, this girl's doing a racist Jamaican accent and everybody just took that that fucking section wow. and run with it that's funny that's a good bit though <laughs> I think I, I did no I think I did that bit to you first what I think you just stole my Jamaican accent bit what? I think I did that to you a couple of weeks ago it's a great one it's a great one to be like talking. you know hey behind closed doors you know, you know he's doing you know, like really racist Chinese you did, accent you're really good at. Like. You did this to me 30 minutes ago when you were like, you know what? You do hate ethnic music. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I love the idea of us just like trying to cancel each other first. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be so much fun. Anyway, do the accent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like for real. All right, loser baby. Oh, if, there was a double, if there was a double ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one song from this, like, this show I would actually play on repeat. Yeah, this I song, have. fucking, oh, it's so good. Keith David, the honey voice. Yeah. Just a honey voice. And then fucking, I think it's Alex, Alex Lee. Yeah, no, Alex, Alex Lee is something. Alex Lee is fully Jin Woo's voice actor. I don't know who does, whoever does Angel. Yeah. It's like that, it's like that, like high, like, like yeah. almost like, like. I'm a loser, the- honey, a schmoozer, and a dummy. That right. sounded great to me. Uh-huh. Was that a good impression? I think it was really good. I thought so. That was really good. I was impressed with You myself. helped me find it, actually. Thanks. That was really yeah. good. Um, we should kiss. What? <laughs> what? what? Oh, it's in sampling every drug and sex toy. That yeah. It's great. <laughs> Fucking incredible. Uh, Hell's Greatest Dad. Pretty fun. It's fun. It's like an Aladdin-y one. It's Alistair and it's Lucifer. Alist- Alistair hijacks and then ruins it for me. He does. Because... Because he, he does the rap thing. Yeah, he does he the does rap thing. And, and listen, in the confines of this one, I'll agree with you because Lucifer's dad, Lucifer is a really good singer. Yeah. And Alistair pops in and does his rap thingy. And I'm like, oh, when Alistair sings, like actually sings, it's really good. Yeah. Like it's like it's like you add that radio voice and all that. It's really cool. But for some reason, every time Alistair sings. I don't like when he does this like ragtime jazzy. It kind of makes sense though. I mean, think about the guy. I get it. Yeah. But he like. Keep it in your own song. Alistair never just like does his he own never has song. A song. He's always he's, just, he's popping in. He just leeches off mm. of other people's better songs. Mm-hmm. And so for that, I give this so like either like a B minus to a C plus. I was thinking exact split between a B and a C. Yeah. Let's go with B. Yeah. Just for Lucifer. Yeah. More than anything. More than anything. anything. This is one where I'm like, I respect it a ton. Yeah. There's one moment that compositionally I re- sound. Yeah. There's one moment I really like where he's like, um, like. I've been uh, some words no. and then she's oh, yeah. like, <laughs> most songs happen. And then she's like, uh, she's like, um, I've been waiting, wanting the same thing. And that bit is really good. Mm-hmm. It's like compositionally really good song. I will never listen to it. Like in yeah. my leisure. Like, no, it's not like I, then again, like I genuinely would only listen to one of these songs out of leisure. I like maybe, maybe hell is forever. Poison and Loser Baby. That would be the only yeah. ones I would really listen to. But more than anything, I'm going to say B is safe as well. Yeah. Welcome to Heaven. F. F. Awful. Yeah, it's yeah. so bad. It's like a Chip what, Skylark uh, song. Who's the guy? Don't you fucking dare Take use a Chip seat. Skylark Take song. Chip Skylark was the original boy band. <laughs> Chip, shiny Teeth in Me is a fucking, to this day. My shiny teeth in me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. <laughs> My shiny teeth that glisten just like the rain. Or no, just like the morning sun. Yeah, you're a big fan, Ooh. clearly. I've listened to it like 10 years, <laughs> all right? And they only played, I used to re-watch that episode specifically to see Chip Skylark sing that song. Well, what a groupie. What a what a tooth head. Yeah. You know how I knew how many teeth I had? <laughs> shiny of teeth in me. 32, baby. 32. When you got 32. Yeah, yeah. Why do I need you when I got 32? 32. My shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. Shiny teeth shiny that song teeth that does bang. Where do you rank that? In. Uh, in the Hasbro, Hasbro Hotel ranking. Oh, that's that fucking, go? I would say, ooh, if you told me I have to wipe the memory of either Loser Baby from my brain or Shiny Teeth in me, I think I would, I think I would wipe Loser Baby. You're insane. Shiny Teeth in me? Fox. You, I do Fox. have recency bias just from you singing shiny teeth and right I don't know now, you I'm, gave a banging <laughs> rendition i don't know if i'll remember loser baby in yeah. 12 years Maybe, shiny teeth yeah. to me was like a like a cultural event for me as shiny a child. teeth to me is also really impressive considering it bangs so hard for being like a dental awareness ad yeah you know like okay, when you considering objectively, what when, it's about when you objectively look back at a lot of like childhood like cartoon network content it's oh, yeah. mostly like Dentist propaganda. Yeah. Codenames Kid Next Door is mostly dentist propaganda. Codename Kids Next Door is wildly anti-dentist. <laughs> it is. But the thing is, they all hate the dentist, but they have terrible teeth because of it, and then they shame the children for having terrible teeth. I guess. They're so. all afraid of the dentist, yes, but then they're like, this is bad. Yeah. Being afraid of the dentist is bad. Yeah, Kids Next Door has horrible messaging. It's like, no. don't trust adults. Teachers fair. are bad. Yeah, <laughs> like, also fair. Yeah. Yeah, but like great crossovers. Dragon no, Ball crossover. Fair. There's, I feel like so many, like, I miss when, like, kids' songs just, like, We're flew propaganda. off the handle for no reason. Yeah. We're propaganda, but, like, like what's new Scooby-Doo rips. What's new Scooby-Doo? 
Come to, come to Scooby Goo. <laughs> What's Scooby Dooby Doo? Dooby Spooby Boo. I am having a new stroke. stroke. <laughs> Do you smell toast? <laughs> What's uh, do Snoopy New do? <laughs> but also Scooby Doo had the fucking the witch girls. Yeah, the what, X girls. Oh, uh, the X girls. Well, also X made a, girls. X fucking. Don't the witch rods. Don't ask me what they're called, and then interrupt me when I tell you. <laughs> the X, the X girls. Uh, fucking the X games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Scooby Doo and the X games. They were hot, man. Oh my god, you know what we didn't tell everybody? Speaking of Scooby Doo, <laughs> fucking at Comic Palooza, we're gonna be panelists with John Cena. <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you mean? Didn't I tell you this? No. John Cena's gonna be there. On our panel? Uh, not on our no, not on not on our <laughs> panel. He made it with his own thing. But John Cena <laughs> just and, comes out like it's like, yeah, we got uh, Nick from Otaku's Anonymous, yeah. Danny Mata, yeah. And John, John Cena just comes smashes a bottle on the back of my head, like, <laughs> cracks me over his knee, <laughs> throws me into the audience. <laughs> he's, just, he's like, yeah, those are, those are really lifelike figurines for yeah. me to break. And he's like, I can't feel my toe. Either way, he's like, yeah, that guy sucked. <laughs> I love, I love the idea of us doing like defend our worst takes and it's like John Cena comes up to the mic and he's like I actually liked I liked God of War and you're like okay <laughs> and he's like, takes you by the head <laughs> oh anyway, fuck good um, times good times had by also anyways. watch out watch out watch out <laughs> yeah, yeah, him and Randy Orton just grab you by the <laughs> arms and legs and rip you in half and was like yeah it's like not wrestling he just comes out and like puts a gun in my mouth <laughs> fires it. The idea of just, just doing five minutes and you just bomb and John Cena just comes out of nowhere, just stabs you in the neck a bunch and everyone's just like, the fuck? And they're like, he wrestled. <laughs> Mod to see John Cena wrestle just that. What's crazy is that Karen would be so conflicted because she loves John Cena. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, John Cena's coming to Comic Palooza, and we have green room access. So, wow. I, yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. He's uh, not gonna hang out. No, for <laughs> sure he won't be in the back. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna memorize the entirety of Bullshit Hushing Wool, Pink Shilling. What? Have you never seen it in his ice cream ad? <laughs> no. Oh fuck! God, you're not tapped into the, the John Cena. Look. I'm worried about him putting a fucking Glock between my teeth. I don't give a fuck about what kind of ad he's done. I'm really like, hey, John. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my god! I just love the idea. Of being really, like, I've done so many make wishes. I get like twelve murders. Yeah, like, like, I've, just been, I've just been banking murders with make a wish. I just like go up to him, like, "Hey, Johnny!" Just like puts his two fingers in my mouth, and I'm like, "Hi!" Just like pulls down really hard and breaks my jaw. Oh fuck! Oh, it's like, hey John, hey, John, can we get an interview? And he just fucking snapped his face. Just like kicks me right in the knee, like perfectly like, breaks my yeah, leg. It's like, I don't talk to people under over 18. Oh, fuck. I don't talk to people under or over. Because, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, God. Yeah, so we're going to try and interview John Cena. Mm -mm. <laughs> you are. He just, he's like, I look at the interview. It's not going well. Like, you can kill my friend if you want. Like, you think if I bring, like, a sugar glass bottle? <laughs> smash oh, it for sure. Me? Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Like, yeah, sugar glass. <laughs> it's just regular glass. Yeah, sugar. He, like, hold like, up I the guarantee you it's sugar glass. You just look in, in your eyes. You, like, you, like, hold up the sugar glass bottle. Like, yeah, it's sugar glass. He grabs a plate and just <laughs> smashes it on my head. Like, not everything. <laughs> All of the things in the room. Everything oh. in this room is either cake or sugar glass. <laughs> Go nuts on them. Go oh, wild. What yeah. are we talking about? John Cena's a murderer. That's what we're talking about. What's Welcome to heaven isn't good. That's what we're talking <laughs> about. It's F tier. Mm. Uh, you didn't know. Oh, S. That's my it's other S. Yeah, I was going to say A. That one goes so, so It's off. so goddamn good. It's really hype. I've listened to that one a couple times. It's very good. Oh, John Cena hosts <laughs> Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> 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 
My time is up. Your time is now. <laughs> you can't see me. My time is now. <laughs> he just a, comes up. To well, you're doing a panel and just a hole opens in your chest. Just John Cena's fist. <laughs> oh. Just like comes up to <laughs> with a gun in my mouth, just like the lips to my ear, like, you can't see me. My time is now. I love the idea of him just killing you, and then, like, Karen's like, what the fuck? And he just waves his hand in front of his face, like, no. Dude, I, like, I can't believe I've oh. never seen a gif or, someone of, or something of him doing, like, the hand wave, and, like, with each wave, he gets a little less opacity. Yeah, yeah, you know, just slowly, slowly fades yeah. away. It's yeah. like the spell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. and you you know I could die live on camera and all the comments would be like, weird Danny died to nothing. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> still like, doing the bit. I didn't see it. Just like yeah. John Cena live murder on CCTV and it's like, don't know how he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, weird that gun flew into Danny's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, out for love. This one also. F. F. Yeah. Really? I don't like it at all. It's cringy as fuck. But it's, it's, it's Camilla Cabello. I love Camilla Carmine. Yeah. Um, a lover. Love her voice. Mm. Uh, the lyrics are so cringy. So bad. They're really bad. Uh, it's like, I know you want vengeance. Yeah, you're out for blood. But to win this fight, you have to be out for love out or something. Out for love. I hate dumb. it. I hate it. Yeah. F tier. Ready oh for this. God. Ready for this. Sing it. And it's like the, I don't even, it's Ready? like the, they're preparing with spears and all that. Are you ready for this? It's, I don't know. It's, I don't, anyone that has Vaggie in it, I'm not a big fan of. She's ready got a, she this. got an incredible what singing voice. This? But I feel like they didn't give, they didn't give like, it's like when Charlie and Vaggie are hyping up all the cannibals right before the fight. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. That one's pretty good. It's fine. That's C it's to C. B. I'm going to go with C. Yeah. Uh, more than anything, reprise. F. It's fine. In the can. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a D at best. And then finale. C. Yeah. It's another like, I, you know, I would go it's so, another safe. I would nothing. go so high as B because it's it's a Disney movie. To, it's a Disney song to wrap up the season. You see Alistair like sn slinking off that kind yeah. of thing. Like it's good. It moves the plot forward. Yeah. It's fun to listen to. It's not, it's nothing special. I just can't believe the one um, you didn't know isn't like the last song. Like what a fucking climax of a song yeah. to put three songs before the end. Mm -hmm. You didn't know is fucking heat yeah it is it's heat. very very good it's also like it's like oh man i love the the little the little the, not the little the, girl one the, what? how do you think i feel i didn't like <laughs> i didn't like how you said that at all. at all i just like i like the smaller of the two angels uh-huh not the little girl one i don't fucking <laughs> cut everything stank cut, cut, cut the whole cut the whole fucking episode don't be, this sucks don't fucking <laughs> cut the whole cut the whole goddamn episode all right can i, can I, I don't have news but can i do my best boy sure my best boy is you. Huh? You texted me. And you yeah. asked if I wanted to hang out. Yeah. And that meant a lot to me. Oh. And I was, I was, and then I texted you back and I was, you were like, let's go to a bar. And I was like, I literally told Dorothy and she was like, somebody has a gun to his temple. And I was like, I have no idea. You were like, I you were like, I was like, we're not going to go to a bar. We're going to go bowling or we'll go to Universal or we'll go to round one. I give you all these options. And then you ghosted me for three days. And I felt like I got like, it was like, literally, I was like, I'm being manipulated. He has good I abuse, like, baby. Yeah, literally, I felt like I was like, I felt like I was like, my boyfriend loves me. And then you're like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and then next weekend's going to come around. You're like, actually, I'm busy. And you're like, it's all right. You asked. No, no gun was to my head. I just like, I was like, man, you know, like Nick's always inviting us to stuff. And I was telling Sarah, I was like, Nick's always inviting us to things. He loves going out. And like, I want to take him out to something that's not like, but like that he'll like, and he'll appreciate. So I was like, let's go to Davy Wayne's or something like that. Have you never been? The fuck is Davy Wayne's? It's a speakeasy. Sure. Maybe we'll go to that. Oh, we never went to that clown strip show. <laughs> but like Bobo Bobo Clown House. Clown. <laughs> yeah. It's a like Jumbo's Clown Jumbo's House. Jumbo's Clown House. That's what it is. That's what we do. In Los Angeles. We go see some Hong Kongs. <laughs> In Los Angeles, there's a strip club called yeah. Jumbo's it's Clown like, it's House. It's like more of like a burlesque show. Yeah, they yeah. really don't want you calling it a strip club. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they don't. There's like one strip club in LA and it's called Jumbo's Clown House. So. We'll go there. Yeah. Nick, I, when I first pitched that to you a year ago, you, you were, were like, going with like five dudes and I was like, that sounds like a great was, night out. And you were like, mix. no, they don't want you there. Well, I didn't go. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I didn't want any of us there. I know. Um, well, because I knew I thought you were such a party dude. You're like, you were like your first week in LA. You're like, we're going to Jumbo's <laughs> Clown House. I was like, I haven't even heard of this before. Um, well, when I pitched to you, you were like, 
we should do like Otaku's Anonymous, go to a strip club. And I was like, they will not allow that. <laughs> yeah. Just like, we're like a full film crew. Just like, how'd you get here? Yes. <laughs> What's your relationship with your father? It's just like, we're like outside door and like, we're here at Jumbo's Clown Factory and we're going to see what it's like on the other side. It cuts to the most like Blair Witch Project looking <laughs> yeah. like hidden cameras. Like, please, please be quiet. Please don't. don't, don't <laughs> please. The red light's on. The red light's it's on. Like, God damn no, it. We'll pay you double. We'll pay you double. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, can you put this, can you put this roadcaster lav mic on? Yeah. All right. We, need, we, we can't hear you. Talk louder. Be cool about it. Be yeah. Cool. yeah. That'd yeah. be great, great content. I'm sure everybody would love that. We're just live. You know what we should do? We should just live stream the entire weekend, our hotel room the entire weekend. We're in Houston. Yeah. People will watch us sleep. I tell you right now. We'll do I know. Fun. We'll do numbers. Uh, we'd get assassinated. You think so? Like, yeah. yeah, people like. Someone at that con would come in and kill us, I'd knowing like, I'd that like, it'd be live. I'd like to hope so. Yeah, for kill, sure. Go for it. Do you have a best boy? Yeah, it's like Glooby. Mm-hmm. What was <laughs> my, that boy, thing? my boy Glorb. What was that thing I told you about earlier? I don't fucking. They said sound like you were having sex with the slug. Oh, Gleipnir. Gleipnir, yeah. Have you heard of Gleipnir? No. Gleipnir mm-hmm. is a show I think I'm going to maybe react to. Look it up. Like, is it spelled G-L- G-L-E-I-P-N-E-R. Is she climbing into his back pussy? What's yeah. going on there? So I watched some clips. I checked it out. It's seemingly a mecha anime, essentially. It came out like two years ago, and it's an ongoing manga right now. And that's what, a fursuit. I don't care. What here's I mean. the thing. That's a fursuit. That's the bit. So the, it, the bit is that it's furries. It's a dude. Holy honking bananas. Show me the bananas. What are you? Holy honking bananas. Here's the bit. What I think it is. It seems insane. It's a anime about a guy who transforms into that. He transforms into like a gigantic like. What am I looking at? Bondage, apparently. Hype. Um, it's, it's an anime about a guy who transforms into this like giant Chuck E. Cheese looking mascot. Okay. It's like a gigantic, like dog in overalls with a revolver. It's bluey with more teeth. Yeah. It's bluey yeah. with more teeth and a gun. And, and a gun? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And he turns into that and it's like huge. It's really off putting. It's scary. Uh huh. And it can unzip from behind. It's literally like Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. It unzips from behind, and a girl can go inside him and pilot him. And I just have to see it. What? Like, what's the? I have to see what this. Because that was I, it, somebody's fantasy, right? It's oh, it's a fetish. For yeah, that's sure. a, that's a that's a it's for not, sure. like just like I want to be the first suit somebody pilot. That's see, this is and this is why Japan gets to be in charge of manga yeah. because they have the Tatsuki Fujimoto's, the people who think of this kind of shit. And I just don't know. I just don't know if we do. You're telling me this doesn't look kind of sick. It looks. Lo- listen, I listen. If you're gonna watch it, yeah. I'll watch. I'll try it. I'll yeah. give it three episodes. Yeah, I'll do that. It looks cool. The animation looks cool. Yeah. But it also could be one of those shows that just ends up just being fetish porn. 100%. Like it could end up literally you just. You watched all of Dungeon and Dungeoness or whatever. What the fuck are you talking what about? What did you watch? The Delicious and Dungeon. Delicious and Dungeon was not fat. What? It's food. It's about food. So it's food wars. Food wars is about getting groped by squid. Yeah. Don't you dare. That, that, listen, listen, you've wandered into a lot of bad takes. If you call it Dungeon <laughs> Meshy fucking fetish, you're going to get eaten alive. You're gonna eat alive. It's the, it was one of the only good anime of last season. People are in love with Dungeon wow. Meshy. It was the third most popular anime last season. All right, easy. Maybe the second, actually. All right. It's gorgeous. I'll fucking re- Studio Trigger animated it. I'll relent. Fucking Gleepnir. Yeah, Gleepnir. You get, you get three posters of Gleepnir. I, yeah. listen, I hope it's better than The Witch and whatever the fuck. The yeah. Demon or Wolf Me or whatever. Too. Uh, cause if it is good, I genuinely watch it. Cause it looks fucking wild. It looks silly. As it well. looks absolutely crazy. Anime is so dope. All right. This is the part of our episode called love letters for me and Danny Paul, our live audience of 58 people hanging out with us right now. Jay Chillin, uh, either on the Patreon or YouTube members, ask us a question that we answer live. So if you guys ever want to hang out with us, watch a podcast live, see all the things that we cut because we don't want 50,000 people seeing us do our dumbest bit. Uh, please come and become a YouTube member or a Patreon member. Uh, and you will not only get two hours of additional content a month, but you will also get to watch us live and get a podcast two days early. That's up to you guys. Uh, but this is the part where Danny reads the question out loud and we possibly answer it. Joseph asks the question, if there's one anime character whose backstory you would go through to get their powers, who would you choose? Gara. Gara? For sure, Gara. Oh my God. Oh, oh, my wife is sad. Your wife, your, my little your, wife your, is so your, sad. Your mother is dead. My little wife is she's so sad. She's not sad, she's dead. His life 
His life I'm being is little that. Gara. He lives with a monster that torments him for the first 13 years of his life and he can't fall asleep. Dude, I would get a nice little beachfront property. Okay. And I would be sanding it up. And never sleep ever again because Shukaku does not allow you to sleep. Otherwise, your body gets taken over by a maniacal one-tailed beast. Does he not sleep? No. If he falls asleep, Shukaku takes over his body. That's why he has the dark under eye bags. I thought he liked makeup. No, he just, <laughs> he cannot sleep. Oh, that's tough. He's like, in, the entire beginning of his life is torture. I'd for sure still do Gara. I mean, like after like the, the tuning exams when he befriends Shukaku and like Shukaku yeah. gets the ass kicked by Karama, then he gets to like sleep because him and Shukaku are homies now. Yeah, but to be fair, he's like 13 when that happens. Yeah. That's half of my life ago. So you do you so want you want to live, you wanna live your entire life, your entire like infancy with people afraid of you. You want to be the reason your mother is dead. You want to kill the only person who's important to you ends up being your uncle. And you want to like an abusive, terrible father who made you into a living weapon to try and prop up the village who then eventually gets killed by a guy who exploits you even further to battle against people in Konoha who end up saving you. Look, Pain is beauty, baby. I, it's supposed to be a tough question. I it's just a fucking. It's a, it's a, there's so many better options. No. Oh my god. He has yeah. the shittiest life because he has the best powers. He has sand. Whose is yours? Who's mine? Yeah. Like, okay. There's people in anime who objectively didn't have a bad life and then got really cool powers. Okay. That's Asta. Fair. Asta. Everybody's like, oh, boo, no magic. And then he was like, oh, the like, Asta went through like 13 years of like living in an orphanage. Not great, obviously. Yeah. But everybody at the orphanage is really fucking nice to him. He lifts. Nobody's like, nobody's like kicking him. He doesn't kill anybody. He's not forced any situations. Yes, his mother abandons him, but he never knows her. So he's like raised in an orphanage that like amongst people who love him. And then he gets anti-magic, which apparently is everything. And then he eventually just gets magic through his Zetan form. And he can fly and he has massive swords and he's ripped. You know, he's got a pretty good life. Luffy. Yeah. Luffy's another Luffy's another great option. Like, oh, I ate the gum gum fruit. Oh, yeah. didn't dad's not around. Who cares? He's like the coolest dude out there. You had three mom figures. Garp was around. He was as much of a father as you needed. And like, sure, I have to deal with the loss of Ace eventually, but like True, but what constitutes a backstory? You know? I'll like do you even get to Ace? I I'd say so. I'd say you live out all of no, because that's fair. Backstory is like what happens before For the, the show. story. Yeah. Luffy's got to be the answer then. Luffy, Luffy loses or, Sabo. He loses like Sabo and whatever. There's like a trash like arc. And then like Luffy like, or Deku. Deku's, Deku's got a pretty solid life. He gets some really cool powers. Yeah. yeah Deku's, he, Deku's like just got a loving mom mm -hmm. and just like kicking it at home. Do you know who the worst option is? Who? Tanjiro. 100%. Tanjiro is like, oh, cool, I can swing a sword all right. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, oh, and my entire family's dead and my sister is a fucking vampire. I was thinking that too. I was also thinking Goku was a really good uh, choice. Just I guess he doesn't know any Saiyans. strong. Yeah, he just doesn't know any Saiyans. And like, yeah. he just like grows up with a grandpa who loves him. And Steps on it. the grandpa. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wham. Yeah. Oh, wham. Oh, yeah. Wham. Wow. I'm a big old, I'm a big old dumb monkey. Yeah, call the ambulance. We wham. We yeah, wham. Yeah, we wham. Oh, I lost my tail. Get yeah. over it, you fucking child. Yeah, uh, Luffy, uh, probably the answer. I feel like it's Luffy, rules. it's Luffy or Deku. Yeah. For sure. And Luffy, you get more powers if you're Luffy. That's the thing. Bakugos is pretty good, though, and those powers are fucking sick. He just get splody hands. Just exploding. Exploding hands. hands is fine. I That's sick. Like if, if you were gonna go, no, because here's the thing: if you were gonna go, anybody in MHA, like I would say, coolest power is fire and ice, right? Yeah, fire and ice is sure. awesome. But he also objectively has the worst <laughs> backstory. That's <laughs> the thing: the best power gets the worst backstory. Not Deku, it was just like raised in a loving family. And I'd then rather fire and ice. Then fucking black whip and float and smoke screen and he gets meta abilities. Yeah, I guess he, he gets does, he gets so he many things. Cheating, yeah. He fully starts cheating eventually. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, even it's true. actually it's much better in the manga now. It just took a crazy. The MHA manga is going nuts. It's actually the, the the most recent chapter of MHA was better than the most recent chapter of JJK for the first time in like four years. Yeah, it is crazy. MHA took a crazy turn. I'm very happy to see it like take that turn. Like it, there was a very expected ending that was like, oh, we're building our way towards like friendship saving the day. And the fucking story was like, nope. Yeah. Which was awesome. I think I could handle like Gojo's backstory. Just strong kid. Strong, strong kid. But then uh, Fuck, that I'd, might be the answer. I'd consider. No, that's the answer hidden inventory. Gojo. His backstory. True. Though. Yeah, yeah. And that was Which is tough. And he has to lose ghetto. Which is tough. That's tough. But for the best power. It is a know? really cool power. Yeah. Do I get to look like Gojo? Do I just become the character or do I just get their powers? I'd consider that because a power. Because if, if looks, yeah, because the way that he looks <laughs> yeah. is a superpower. That, that's power, baby. Fuck, yeah. I feel like that is it's a really good question. We should do a tier list of like 
worth it. Yeah. Like it's like we do like oh like fucking Tanjiro not worth yeah. it. Gojo S tier yeah. worth it. Goku I, S tier worth it. Next to Tanjiro. Sites worth, best, you're worth, worth it. it. Absolutely, Absolutely worth, worth it. it. Yeah. Just living the life of a regular dude. Yeah. He's the best one. He's the peak. Tanjiro or Denji are mm-hmm. the bottom. You know who isn't bad as well? The main character of uh, Kaiju number eight. Yeah. Like he's just like, he cleans up Kaijus and then he gets a parasitic Kaiju in his mouth and then he just gets Kaiju powers. Yeah. That's and they're fucking sick as hell. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I'm, like that. I'm rereading Kaiju number eight. I'm like up to chapter 50 and I forgot how fucking good the story is nice. you're gonna hate it it's very funny stop no i'm not kidding like you're not gonna like it <laughs> i like the be- i read the first uh chapter i don't like when he like pisses out of his nipples yeah it's a lot of that it's a lot of very physical comedy <laughs> nice. you're not gonna like it's like it's not it's not as bad as mashal it's much more serious than mashal yeah. but like it's got some comedy elements gotcha you're gonna be like why are they joking i like spy family moment? you forget i love spy family <sighs> That's, it's, and it, buddy daddies it's spy it's spy. it's spy. no it's it's one punch man that's what it is. Well, the closest sucks. facsimile is that it's One Punch Man in terms of like quality content. The main character is incredibly broken. The, a lot of the, a lot of the characters built around the main character are like meant to build the momentum of all that. We spend less time with Kafka, the main character, and then there's a lot of like good physical comedy. Yeah. So it's like One Punch Man. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're gonna hate it. I'm very excited. I'm so goddamn excited. All right, that's all we have, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you hanging out with us for another episode of A Talk is Anonymous, episode 61. We appreciate you guys. Being here, make sure you buy some tickets to Comic Palooza if you live in the greater Texas area. Come and see me and do Danny do nine panels. Come see me, Come do see me. Danny. Oh, I'm gonna do Danny so hard. Why would you our, say our, that? Our fourth panel is a live leak. How um, the hell did that even? I don't know. I'm become a mistake. Fast. It's hard. You don't right? have to I'm talk I'm afraid fast. of John Cena. I, you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the things to fear. Is Karen gonna come? Mm, I don't think so. I don't know. She should. I don't know. John Cena's going to be there. We'll see. So make sure you come and see us at Comic Palooza, May 24th to the 26th. It's going to be a great old time. And I've been Nick, also known as NCM23, also known as the Weeb Commander. I've been Danny, otherwise known as Mata. I did a poll. I did a poll thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, come. Who's going to come? And yeah. like 12,000 people said they were going to come. I was like, okay. Wow. That's not going to happen. I have like uh, 1,200 people. What's your, what's, your, what's your thing? What's your cutoff? If you like, if we do X amount, we're happy. If I get fifty people, if I'm I get happy. A, if I get a, if we get a hundred between the two of us, I'd be stoked. I'd be unbelievably hyped. I got. I think I got. Like, I'll say it. I'll say it. the first one hundred people to show up to our panel, I'll open mouth kiss. Don't say. I'll do it. That. Why would you? Say I'll that? do it. I'll do it. People are gonna try. I'll open, Don't try. Try. Don't come get a kiss from Nick. Yeah, yeah, Danny. Well, listen. I listen. I, I won't kiss you, Danny. This was Danny's idea. <laughs> all right, the first one hundred people will hear Danny's Jamaican accent. All right, we'll do. We'll do, we'll do all right, I'll kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye. We love you. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the class.